Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. clean it up and get the kids out of that. The kids blew up the rafts and they're down there. Rashid and Jerome are all playing around, paddling around, pretending they're fishing, having a good time. I gotta get it cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? You guys pump that water out or do anything like that? Yeah. What I guess just because of the rain, it all seeped through the wall. I come down one night, it's all coming through the walls. You know, we were watching football when we went down the basement to get some beer and then came back up. I said, man, the place is flooded. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I gotta get that cleaned up. It's here this Wednesday. Kids are still swimming down there. They ain't going to school nothing. I ain't gonna be eating Thanksgiving dinner down there with all that water flooding all over the place. Tom Turkey be running down there, slipping down the steps. How, how deep's the water? Uh, the water's about Hi, up on to air? my ankle. It's about four or five inches deep now. At first, it was three feet. When we first went down, the yep. kids were all swimming around there because they got little kids, five-year-old, seven-year-old. Yep. They, yep. they thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> I imagine before we got down, it was up to maybe seven feet. It was deep, but now it's only a few inches. It's all good. But I got to get that few last few inches pumped out of there, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to do for it? I, I'm going to give you money. Get that out of there. You get that water out of there. You keep that water, and I give you money. You can't go wrong with that. Now you got yourself water and money for the job. Well, no. Nah. <laughs> No. You know what I'm saying? What are you willing to pay to pay for, for this? I pay anything. You know what I'm saying? I pay. Uh, I ain't gonna pay. tonight please for the for the sake of uh twitch please oh, oh there we go oh, there we go now game capture is not gonna work oh my god oh okay it is, it it is. Still works. What's welcome, up? welcome to the show what's up brian and i are uh we're just loving the experience of playing with our electronics today i don't know why this has never happened before but the Newmark just crashed it just, in the like, middle. Totally died. It crashed and it wouldn't let me browse through folders anymore on the thumb drive. So I just had to like restart it. Whoa! That was like mid song. What if that was a live performance? You can't rely on this. What kind of trash are we dealing with here? <laughs> yeah. PPS Shit, studio. man. I think uh, my original uh, Hi, my own ear. PS5 controller that came with my console. The white one, yeah. Yeah, I think it like. I think it just died. It just died. Like I try, I used it yesterday on KLBR. Okay. Been using it to play Killer Seven. I was, I've been playing. No Kill drift. You don't have any drift or no, anything. No, I have a loose R two, but it like, like it feels loose when it's not um, in like haptic mode. Yeah. But aside from that, it it's been running fine. Today I went to turn it on. It just wouldn't turn on. 
Damn. And so I tried to plug it Sinking in, and it in. just got really hot. <laughs> so I don't know if the if the motherboard died or Circuit what. Circuit could have been, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh... Sorry to hear that. That's well, okay. thank funny. you for joining me. I love that shirt, the old school, the Gaming oh, Cult yeah. podcast. I'm Gaming getting horny now. Shouts out. About Shouts out. Um, now, I do want to um, uh, get into the video game here a little sooner rather than later. I picked up uh, over Christmas, mm. I, I was gifted actually, Last of Us Part 1, which is, I don't know, it's not a remake, it's a... No, it is a remake. It's like an update. Yeah, but it's like we already... <laughs> when I finished The Last of Us, it was on PS5. Yeah. But it was the update for PS4. But now this is like a next level update. Yes. Uh, so is it a remake? Yeah. Cause, Essentially. Because I mean, they, they it's not in, the old assets or maps or It's anything. the old uh, performance capture, but it's not... Uh, so they just redid the whole thing. Ellie looks a little different. Yeah. I know you've played this a lot on KLBR. Mm -hmm. um, this oh, has yeah. been out since about September, we figured. Something yeah. like that. First first week of September, I think it came out around then. S yeah. Uh, that was the first thing I noticed just on the cover. It's like, okay, she doesn't... Oh, shit. She doesn't look like uh, that actress anymore. What's oh, her name? Ellen Page? Yeah, yeah. No, she looks more like Ellie be like looks in 2. Yeah. I mean, she looks like younger too i feel like i don't remember her looking so young um, yeah they did a really good job it's great because now everyone's watching the show it's uh two episodes are out at this point um i don't know if uh, you have but i've been watching oh yeah the show, oh, i, I, I watched have, uh, oh yes i'm liking the show i'm enjoying the show I, this is not going to be a hate on the last of us stream i'm nope. so fucking happy because, yeah, Sean would not want to participate. <laughs> he wouldn't want that kind of stuff on his airwaves, no, on the Mega64 channel. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, moderate. Yeah, I mean, regular yeah, old. Yeah, normal is fine. Regular old normal. <laughs> yeah, um, I think they updated how it plays. Uh, people are saying in the chat the accessibility options. Um, all the stuff from 2 they kind of brought in. Yeah, kind of like what they did with the Nathan Drake remaster, but they actually went in and remastered it. Yeah. Uh, whereas in the Nathan Drake remaster, they just kind of like updated a lot of stuff, but they didn't reskin it. Like this is a from the ground up, um, yeah. yeah, redone game, redone assets. Like, totally. These are all new. Yeah, look at. Uh, I can tell right away that like this looks like it's made next gen. It's not a PS4 game. Yeah. Um. This was a. Uh, such a shocking game to yeah. start because like now knowing what happens even when i'm watching the show i'm like i'm laughing about uh the character introduction i'm like ah, i'm not gonna get too attached to uh joel's daughter here uh, <laughs> oh man because i mean this is an hour and a half long episode odds are she, something's gonna happen she ain't making it till oh, the end man. but um i i like I don't really notice big differences because I don't remember that much of this game. Yeah. Um, aside from like big key moments and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot to this. Oh, but game. like, I, do so I didn't even remember the watch thing being a thing from the game. I thought that was, as far as I knew, it was like, oh, that's cool. She fixes watch. I forgot that that's like actually in the game. <laughs> yeah, no, this opening is. Yeah, they do a great job of uh, of capturing it in the game. That's why I really wanted to play this yeah. this week because it's like these new t two show episodes are like fresh in my head. Yeah. I had just gotten this and it was like, oh, perfect. Perfect opportunity to really see like how close they are. I, I talked on the podcast, the Mega64 podcast, and I think I talked with you, Brian, but I love the use of notes in that first episode mm. with uh, her reading Joel's notes and his rate about the radio. Oh, yeah. 80s yeah. songs are, you know shit's going down or you know danger yeah yeah that's just something from a gameplay perspective like you find notes throughout this yeah series. constantly finding notes that are giving you clues on things and to have that put into like an episode it felt very uh cool mm -hmm. felt very connected to the idea of a game Yes. Being, you know, this being the source material, uh, you know, being based off a video game. 
Okay. Yeah, and they can do that. They can show you some notes and stuff like that. Um, I hope you know, they throughout keep the game. doing it. I think they know. will, you know. And I like the cold opens where they kind of give you more of a um, backstory on the virus. It's not It's that not necessarily second, like... second episode, yeah. Yeah. I, that was I actually, cool. Some people might not like it. I like when you they make... They gotta stretch this shit out. I well, mean, right? They're gonna make a season two of this yeah and there this is this is yeah it's gonna have filler which isn't exactly filler in a bad way no I, i'm calling it filler just because it's not in the source material right but it's expanding upon the source material. and neil Druckmann directed that episode dude when that bitch was like yo bomb <laughs> bomba yep. i was like wait what yep i uh i know I, I think um i never i, I never realized that uh, the big craters in the city street and everything. Oh yeah, from bombs are from bombs when you're walking through in the game. I just thought like, yeah, the city's fucked up. Yeah, no, no, no. They uh, so that comes in this the looks notes, crazy right? Crazy different, man. Oh, I mean, she. Right? I, I feel like the daughter looks different. Maybe it is just the next gen upgrade, but she looks more like a person and less like a uh, po- like a, a video dog. game character. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Um, again, I think it's just they've done a really good job at updating the game. It also shows the uh, technology that we have. Uh, because you know they use, Mirror. you know they're using the same shit that they're rendering th- these things with to do the shows and the movies that they're putting out. They have to be, like, it, I bet you that's like the high concept. Like, hey, here's what we can do in a game. Here's what we do in the fucking movies. Because you see shit like that in uh, in Disney movies, and the only person or the only studio right now I feel that's matching Disney visuals in real life shit mm-hmm. has been Sony. Um, like, Last of Us looks pretty good it doesn't look super cg it doesn't look like you know like you're talking um, from realism graphics yeah like in terms of just how it's being produced especially since it's a tv show granted it has a huge budget but like yeah there isn't like i don't feel like it looks like shitty like there are scenes in the walking dead that even when they came out and lost too yeah when they came out you're like Seriously, that's what the fucking, like, that's all you could put in towards the CG of this thing. Like, yeah, so the plane far, crashing at the beginning of season six, one of the wi- widest <laughs> seen openings of a, of a series looked like a PS2 game. Well, you know? yeah, that was how long ago, you think about it. Uh, almost 20 years ago from the day the show started. Jesus, 20 years. Yeah, 04. Um, you know, I think about, yeah, the, the cinematography in the show has been yeah. great, you know. And, and uh, I was kind of like in the first episode, like, yo, I want to see a creature. I want to see some monsters. But they gave you, like, the the dead one tied to the, you know, like, you know, morphed to the wall or whatever. Yeah. They give you a, just a little sneak, and then it was a good payoff uh, that the huge climax of the second episode is like, all right, there's a fucking clicker fight and everything. Yeah, I felt like... Ending with the emotional, you know, the the start of a lot of emotional deaths in this uh, Well, franchise. the continuation of a lot of a lot emotional of things. Yeah, yeah, episode one actually <laughs> opens on. Here we are. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed uh, I really enjoyed what they did with it. Um, I think that the cinematography has, has been awesome. Like, the opening where they're in, uh, in the room with Ellie and the way that she's lit compared to where Joel and... Um, Tess are standing like they're really like clouded by this darkness and she is the only thing that is illuminated and she's lit from the back and she looks uh. like you know this thing but then all the backstory stuff that they're giving in the last of us is really cool because they're making changes and anybody who wants this to be one for one it's not it's going to be one for one emotionally and thematically it will not be one for one uh storytelling wise because i said this last week it certain things just don't work on on a on a tv show if you and try to just, do them it won't yeah work. i'm I, I and we've seen enough times that like no one does no one does it one-to-one yeah like nothing's been ever done one-to-one yeah and the closest we ever got was the lord of the rings trilogy and even then they omitted so much those expanded versions have some shit but yeah yes yeah but still like it's not that, that might be as close as you can get yeah uh, and and like maybe again like yeah 300 or or something like that where it was literally shot for shot from the storyboards that they you know like sure from the comic yeah you know what graphic storyboard. novels are another different thing yeah um what i like <clears throat> ryan ryan uh said and what i was working towards too i like more than anything the change from cordyceps to what are they called uh mycelium 
Well, like, it's still cordyceps is the type of mushroom. Sure. A mycelium is a part or of spores, all mushrooms. Or spores. Sorry, I meant to say spores. Oh, so from spores. Yeah, spores, yeah, yeah. not uh, cordyceps. Uh, my yeah, because I was bad. wondering when, however, they're going to do that, like, uh, mask up before they go into a room full of spores. And, and, and again, that's something that I think works in a video game. Because you feel already like, oh shit, spores. You that see means, a haze. That yeah. means something's going to happen. There's a lot of, oh shit, I never saw the person in the backyard. Who? This they is... ran past the fucking uh, tire. Oh, I didn't see that. I, I saw it just when I looked up. I saw somebody like. Oh, how creepy. Right? Yeah. Um, but I think, again, changing it for the for the sake of making it make sense. Like, oh, it was I, I really enjoy it. I like I like the idea of these like these worms that kind of like are trying to take over because that's how it happens in real life too like i've seen the grasshoppers that get taken over yeah and they have those little thin spiry worms and it's like fucking like it's just you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of i really liked the uh the tv show the strain yeah yeah and uh the vampires have like little white worms in their in their bodies and that's kind of like what and, and and yeah 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 Oh, fuck, dude. Well, I, I also appreciate... We about to shoot the neighbor. I appreciate that they were able to capture tense moments, too. Like Oh, him reloading? Him reloading, the feeling of what it's like the first time you're actually taking on a clicker with only what you got. And, like, yeah. that whole sequence... Again, I think I think they nail what the, what the game gave you, but for a viewer. Because, again, like, certain things they're trying to guide you through because you have to go through it. Like, when I heard the clickers in the show, I immediately knew we're yeah. fucked, you know? Oh, it, and it's, it is like they use the video game mm-hmm. sound effects, which mm-hmm. was, that was very cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, you know what I love, too? There's a, I don't, maybe I'm reaching, but at the beginning of the episode, when they first are leaving the shelter, the door, when they open it, sounds exactly like the, I, don't, I can't do it, it's like, a, uh, the, but the clicking sound of the clicker. Like oh that. yeah, it's dude. I know what you're talking about. You know, yeah. like it, it had that. There's a music tone or something that gets played, and I think it's supposed to make us who are familiar with that noise, yes, get a little nervous. Like, what the fuck? What is that? Yes. Oh, that's just a musical cue. I okay. like that this whole part was pretty much one. Like again, things yeah. that needed to be one to one. Like this was one of the coolest openings in a game ever. Totally. Like this whole sequence where this they're talking. And the Phantom Pain, man. And like you're figuring out where they're going, and they're trying to see like. You know, like what's a viable option? Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> the 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 sound effects being like right out of the game are, I think, great. Like I'm so happy that. Also, the clickers looked just like identical to what they did in the game, as far as I could tell. Like, yeah, very close um, in movement and everything, which that's going to be important. Now they did some tongue-in-cheek little jokes like. Uh, is it true that there's big fat ones that explode spores all over you? Yeah. I've heard about these ones that do this, and it's like, yo, those are different enemy types in the yeah, game. Yeah, bloaters. And- are they probably just like, we're not going to put these in the show, but we'll talk about these are rumored. So that's or what? That's, I don't know. That's where I love it, because as a viewer, you're like, okay, so are they making a joke? Like, they don't really say yes or no or to is that. Or is it foreshadowing? Again, right? And Joel's going like, what the fuck is she talking about? Because it was foreshadowing, right? Yeah. Like, she says, or there are ones that, that, like, their faces are split open and they do this and then they kind of, like, stop and look at her and, and, and they're like, for me, I'm like, oh, it was all of these things we have encountered. Or yeah. we've, and we've heard of them, too. Like, just the idea of talking about them is like, well, you don't want to encounter them. No. And then the first time you encounter them, it is one of the most tense moments that I've seen in a, in a television episode since playing the, like it felt the same way like after this when I would play certain scenes in Last of Us and in Last of Us 2 I would have to put down the controller sometimes after, after a <laughs> sequence man oh, this game looks incredible god yeah I would get into a clicker fight and then sometimes have to be like alright I need a fucking break yeah uh, cause there's so much of this game is stealth yeah in the beginning. I, I like a lot of things too. Like some people have complained about certain choices they've made. Like when they um when they speak to the specialist in the beginning of the uh the first episode or of the second episode. Yeah. They kind of lay out something that you aren't told until like well, you're still kind of never really told in the show, but like whether or not there could be a vaccine or a cure or whatever. Oh, and this lady who's the the mushroom specialist, the yeah. mycologist, yeah, she's saying like, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it, it's like basically, no which which again for me, I'm like, shit, this set the tone. Yeah, this is the world's foremost. She spent how, however many years doing whatever, um, but like, dude, rocked. It was like. 
fucking yeah like she sat there and her response to what they realized like each minute with all this nonverbal uh communication you watch her get more and more worried yeah see she can't eyes. hold her cup anymore dude yeah like it, it's it's like if if this is what it is and these are the things that you're showing me there is no coming back there's no cure from a host takeover a host takes over yeah there's no cure for it. Thanks now, for the sub, Midnight Sun. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, but I'm so fucking yes, happy. I find it I find it really cool that they did a, a, a few differences with the show and um, I mean, also it's more it's it's like this expansion. Yeah, nothing's changed. Uh, like now now I don't quite remember. We'll see if we get there. But does um, man, I love how, who they cast as a uh, who's Joel's friend who's helping him take Ellie. Uh, Tess. Tess. Yeah. yeah. I love who they cast. Yes. Uh, she feels, like, perfect for that role. And, and here, man, the costuming and everything is, like, top-notch, great. Like, I, I do really like Yeah. the set design and stuff has looked all real. It hasn't looked, like, overly done CG, you know? Oh, sorry. I just realized she got she broke her right arm. I never paid attention to that's where Ellie got bit. Ah, similar. Yeah, just a similarity, like nursing the right arm. It's like that's... It's not an ankle thing? Like, she can't walk? Or did, is it? Oh, okay, maybe it is. She said it's her ankle, right? right yeah, yeah. Bad. In the show, it was ankle for sure. And that, well, that would make sense because that's why she can't walk. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Fuck. This looks so fucking good. <laughs> it really does. But, you know... I'm tapping X like it does something. Right, dude. like you're playing GTA. <laughs> but it's got my blood pumping. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Theater's on fire. Man, we saw Return of the Jedi in that theater. Remember? Propane and propane accessories. Come on, Sarah. Let's get the get fuck out. out of town. Oh, like the Alamo Theater. Oh, this is like 6th Street. Oh, for real it is. Here's the um, the naked cowboy. Or uh, what's his name? The god of all Texas? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. And they're uh -oh. straight up zombies, dude. Yeah, this is the beginning of the infection. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you can die in this segment. Mm -hmm. Shit. You have to go to left. Oh, really? No. <laughs> you patched it. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention at all. <laughs> I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's right. He just said go down the alley. Fucking vocal cue. I was like, who's this dude in the, with a gun? Oh, that's my brother. Go! I'm going. I'm gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get him, Tommy. Bang. He's dead. God damn it. I loved it because in this game you could change it all to um, hold instead of tap for uh, QTEs. Oh, that's cool. So you just hold it down and it goes automatically when it comes? Yeah, there's an accessibility thing, I think. Boom, we're in. So in the game, did Tommy get arrested the night before? That's why I was out? Um, yeah. That was in a note or something in the house. I probably skipped fast. Yeah. Well, I don't know what happens. You hear Joel on the phone, and then he leaves. So I don't know if that happens again. This was so good. The shadows on the ground mm -hmm. of someone running behind you. That's that was fucking a great. great, dude. That was great. That's such good game design. I forgot about this. Man, I started this game so early on the PS4 at mm. launch, and like... Never finished it. Just never finished it. I even beat the DLC on the PS4. Then, finally, PS5 came out. I didn't have anything to play. This got the update, and I was like, I'm finally going to finish it. And then it was right before Last of Us 2. Or was Last yeah. of Us 2 also a PS4 launch? It no. was. No? No, no. Last of Us 2 came out in one, like right around COVID. Mm -hmm. That's why nobody wanted to play it. Radio. I like that they switched sides on this. In the show, they they they're on the left and the cops on the right. Yeah. Just been through hell. We just need. Roger. Shit. Does Joel get hit? Yeah, where his left hand is. Yeah. Tommy's a good brother. I'm trying to remember a Tommy. Tommy's. Throughout Last of Us 2, but does he make it to the end? End? I know, baby, I know. 
Oh, hell. Oh, that's where the watch broke, too. I never realized that. You see his watch is broke again? Mm -hmm. I noticed how, like, Pedro Pascal has to be, like, grayed up for, like, the entirety of the show. <laughs> but the first episode intro, it's like, he just yeah. looks like brown hair, brown mustache. Oh, uh, yeah, Ryan makes a good point. Technically, uh, Last of Us 2 is still only a, a PS4 yeah, that's game. I, that's what I thought. But we all played it on our PS5s because it was like there was nothing else to play at launch. They, yeah, that was part of it. And then they did also release like a, a high quality patch that if like you had a PS5, it would run better. But they did that for Uncharted and then released the, you know, Uncharted 4 and the uh, Lost Legacy collection. Right. So I'm hoping that they do that um, for 5 and it'll just be like, you know, an upgrade patch. But... You know, like as at the end of the season, it's like, all right, hey, PS5 edition, like full on. But otherwise, I mean, it's yeah. still this, you know, it still looks as good as this game, but it's not yeah. technically a PS5 tile. Yeah, totally. I get you. Yeah. That's always a dicey period when the new console comes out and you're playing, if it's backwards compatible, the old stuff on it. I start to forget, like, wait, what gen was this game actually? But yeah, it was. PS4 games. Technically. I mean, it's, technically, this is the most advanced Last of Us game in the franchise. The one we're technically, playing. Technically, yeah. It's the latest release. Yep. Or the if they've released it on PC, the PC version. I don't know if they've done Last of Us 2 on PC yet. Well, and it's like exactly the same, like 20 years. Mm -hmm. But instead of 2013 in the series it's 20 uh, 2003 oh really it's 10 there's a 10 year time shift mm -hmm. but it's really mm -hmm. well i wonder why because they wanted it to just be like more, the game more to be modern to be current with the time yeah okay um but yeah uh somebody's asking uh, yeah i played the original yeah on ps3 then i played it again on ps4 and then i played it again on ps5 and I would yeah, easily was, play this game that's again. That's what I was Where remembering. It was a PS3 game. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what it was. I started it on PS3, even played the DLC, and then never finished it until I got a PS4, and I was like, all right. It got a patch for that. God, how many gens of fucking PlayStation. Pretty much like, I just feel like 3, 4, and 5 have just been one long gen. <laughs> Does that kind of make sense? It's like every, way, yeah. everything got everything got like so much better than like PS2. Yeah, and then it's kind of not jumped again. It's just like everything's. I don't know. I just yeah. feel like the last three consoles have been a long, drawn out generation of backwards compatibility. Where man, I'm still playing the old games on that new shit. Yeah, uh, I think it's because again, they like. The ability to uh, make a game like this has long since been available. The problem is the resources, right? So, like, with each generation, they find better ways to, like, actually be able. Yeah. Make this AAA or, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, things increase with, like, GPUs and all of that kind of yeah. stuff. So they're able to, you know, or the teams get larger. Um, you know, like, there's probably hundreds of people who work on, on this game, if not more. A thousand, if I had to guess. Like, that's why this game is so fucking incredible. Um, and like, yeah, it takes, it takes a while to develop, but I totally didn't remember it being Boston, but now, you know, watching the show, it's like they talk about Boston a lot because mm -hmm. you're only there for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And so, and it was in the beginning of the game. So, you know, I remember the end of the game, but not the beginning really. And then, uh, it is Boston though. Look at all the brick mm -hmm. and everything like, God damn. Yeah. And yeah, again, like just really, really cool that they're able to, uh, to give you this game with like. The best, <laughs> the best looking. Um, but Tess, uh, Tess, open this fucking gate for me. Hell yeah, dude! So the show comes out. What is it? Every Sunday night? Yep. It's about right. Right at the same time as the podcast. 
Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I've been watching them. Uh, usually, I get to it around Monday morning, Tuesday morning. If Trish gets home early enough before I got to come in, we'll, we'll bang it out one hour. Night. It's nice that the yeah the intro was an hour and a half. I did like that, but now I guess that they're all going to be an hour or somewhere around there. Yeah. I think HBO's been famously cool with like directors kind of floating their lengths in there. Mm-hmm. You'll have like a 27 minute episode. So, so if that's all it cares, you know, it, it can it can carry. Yeah, yeah. Or 45 minute. Yeah. You know. Which is great. Yeah, give me a 40 minute episode that is like. Didn't the Sopranos know, do characters. that a lot? Uh, I think they would do some of that. There's yeah. never like a hat, like a 27 minute no. episode, but it was like eight hour long episodes or 48 or you know. What are we doing? Are we are we are devising a plan, Tess? No, you have to walk through the thing. Right? Yeah, I don't know. If she's waiting for me. Like, don't go yet. Hey, hi. We're all good here. How you doing? Man, um, Fetter guys are dicks. Ah, so this is a little bit different from how the episode went. Yep. Um, Tess wasn't beat up. No, T Tess got beat up. She, she just did. Talked over it, they yeah. talked over it, and Joel didn't freak out. She didn't look that bad. Because I was looking at her to see if she had bruise on her face, but I didn't see him. But that they did say that she got beat up. That explosion yeah. in the show scared the fuck out of me. That oh, was a jump. Yeah. That was a jump scare. Oh. Um. So much for the easy route. So so now it's like okay, we're gonna go get our battery back. Yeah, but in this one, it's a deal that went bad with uh, with what's her name, uh, Marlene. Marlene. Yeah. yeah. They uh, they took your shit and then they didn't pay you, or they sold it to somebody else. Some I think it's yeah, it's something like that. So we're already so, kind of yeah. jumping ahead. I just used it. No control. No run. Mm -hmm. Which is always fun. I set the brightness right though, because yeah, it looks good. Screen capture looks good at least. A little dark on mine. Oh, and uh, I should say we have the Discord open. Oh, yeah. The wheel is in play. We will uh, check with the chat. I see Ranty Rose, the other one. It's a jackal killer DLS. Oh, let's have it to name a few. Oh, a Nightbot. Oh, well, wait a minute. Fuck. Shouts out to the Nightbot. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking I, I to you. I love how polarizing this game really is. Like, I don't understand why it is so, like, it, like people get so passionate about loving it or hating it. Like, it's, I don't know, it's bizarre. It's really bizarre. Like, most yeah. of the people in the chat are pretty cool. Art is divisive. Some people, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Some people dislike this, you know. I dislike uh, award-winning games. There's yeah. games that, like, I just don't have interest in that are like fucking beloved. Yeah. And everyone, if I even say them, is like, ah, oh, well, yeah, I mean, you should give it a chance. And it's like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it. So for me, it's, it's, um, sometimes I'm just not motivated. Yeah. Oh, there are a lot of games that I'm not motivated to Some play. Some people have heard so much about this fucking game. And also, you know, I thought about this when I picked this game for today, too. It's like, a lot of people are just fucking over it. It's been fucking, like, re-released and put out and talked about, and now the show's out, and it's like, people have Last of Us Overload. Mm, yeah. Uh, I, I almost felt like when they were marketing the show, like, last month, I was like, yeah, okay fucking i'm not ready like this should have came out i don't know <laughs> yeah, in another two years when i'm fucking hungry for it but now you know now i see it's good it's like all right <laughs> yeah but once it came out i mean i think they said i said this on big dogs but i think that uh it's one of the largest growths of a show from the first to the second week for a drama like either ever or in a very long time what are you saying like a like like the the they released uh the viewership or something? yeah yeah like the viewership of this was like the largest increase from first episode to second episode. Yeah. So again, it's like everybody was worried whether or not the game was going to be any good or the show was going to be any good. And then once the show came out and it was pretty fucking well made, 
Uh, you know, we still don't know we're two episodes in, so I don't know if I'm going to like it or love it. I mean, so, I so far I'm enjoying it. I was a huge fan of the Chernobyl mm-hmm. miniseries, and that just got better as it got. Yeah, and it's the on. same writer. If yeah, I'm not mistaken. So. Yeah, for me, I'm like, clearly there are people here who love the franchise and want to make it work. It's not just a companion piece on it, like, trying to sell you a game. It's a good show adding more to the world of sure. The Last of Us. So, I, yeah, and know? I feel like, you know, this is something, like, I'm sure my brother and, and sister have already told my parents, like, to watch this. But, like, they would love this show. Like, it's very accessible. The story's just good. Yeah. Um, You know. A little Walking Dead, uh, a little character driven. You know, I, I I'll say that the Walking Dead was, I liked it in the beginning, mm-hmm. um, because I did like a character driven apocalyptic story. Yeah. Um, Me too. That didn't focus on the monster. Yeah. Focus it focused on the characters. Yeah, and and what it takes yeah, to yeah. survive. Yeah. You know, like, uh, that that's what I like about The Last of Us is that, yeah, you know, there are... Some people aren't into that genre, though. You know, some people don't like post-apocalyptic. Yeah, anything. my brother was like, it's too stressful. I'm like, yeah. he's like, I don't like stressful media. And I'm like, well, when have you fucking ever? ever? Like, you don't like horror somewhere. movies. You don't like thrillers. Like, <laughs> you know, like... The, he likes the, comedies. Uh, he likes, you know, action movies and fun okay, movies. You, you know, like, he's not... I mean, he likes... He'll watch a number of movies, but, like, when he's tuning in, he's tuning out. When you tune into The Last of Us, it's it's a lot of tuning in completely. They're telling you a lot of things non-verbally. They're t- they're showing you things. They're giving you an experience of walking through a dilapidated city to see how much degradation there is. You know, after in 20 just years. twenty years. Yeah. You know, like yeah, so some there's bombing. All, there's yeah, and some bombing. But I mean, like basically with without without human interaction, like how we returned in nature and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, look, the carpet, because the windows are broken, is growing fucking moss, and now just straight up grass, yeah. you know, 15 feet in all directions from the open, exposed, you know, rain, and... Yep. It's just, uh... Now this, the, this game is so fucking well made. Like, everything is so realistic. And what I love about this version of the game is that it's, uh, it's... it's Start finding tape and scissors. Yep. It, well, it's lit like there it is. It's lit like Barry Lyndon. Like, turn off your flashlight. Yeah. The it's just light coming in from that room has a key source. It actually works the way it works if you look, look around. At the, look at the shafts of light. Being, yeah. Being broken by whatever it is that's that's interrupting. I mean, you can actually see across like the dust in the shaft of light. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then again, like the, the natural light coming in, it, that's where the plant, like you said, would grow. Like the plants would be there. They kind of also shine to where you got to go. And then if you go to a place where there isn't light, it, it really is dark. Mm-hmm. Um, like in the in in the original game, that's one of the things that they didn't, um, you know, they couldn't do basically. Like they could get they could get people to look good, but they couldn't get environments to look as good. Uh-huh. Because if you give environments that much Detail, rendering power grass and every blade <laughs> yeah and we will always be more sympathetic to people so give that you know power to the human performance we're masked up mm-hmm. this is like a really um when i see like games like this this is like all mocap you know game capture facial capture mm-hmm. uh this is what they reused from the first game to just kind of like put this new coat of paint on it. Yeah. You were saying? Well, they were releasing the PC version because they're expanding into doing uh, PSN or PS Studio releases on, on P- PC. On Steam. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and, um, and that's been great because, again, more money coming in means more shit, uh, more games, more everything. Um, and they're all like banger games. It's not like they're shitty. It's the Spider-Man game. It's yeah, the Last it's of Us 2. It's Last of Us. Like, God of War is on PC. Um, That's cool. Yeah, they've never done that before now. Yeah. Sony hasn't. Nope. I mean, not. nobody really has. Like, not even, I think, like, Xbox kind of did it, but not 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 like this. It'd be like Nintendo putting out uh, Zelda on fucking PlayStation because more people would play Yo, is this guy bit? Yeah, he, I mean, he's fucked. I always shoot him. Sorry, dude. I don't even know what you were saying, but I'm just, I ain't taking any chances, bro. Well, hey. his mask was broken, so he's oh, breathing in spores. Fuck, hey. You can't be breathing in spores. Not on my watch, bro. Not gonna happen. Mm-mm. 
Alright. We're one Tesco. Less... One less mouth to feed back at the commune. Yeah, I mean, one less bullet, but, um, oh, you know, it's, I think that's the more humane thing to do here. He's going to turn. Would you rather be... I'd rather reload now that you told me I had one less bullet in the chamber. Oh. <laughs> Would you rather... Oh, here he stay is. ...stay alive as a fucking, like, but not be aware like that, or... Would you rather when? Oh no! I want you to take me out. Yeah, take it out. Like I'm done. If I if if it's if I'm turning and it's gone, like hey, there's no saving me. Put me down. Yeah, Tessa. You know, I'm surprised Joel didn't take Tess out, but she had to stay behind to kind of sacrifice and yes. cover for her. Yeah, which I liked. I liked. I liked the difference that they did for that. I yeah. think I think it was a little bit more. Um, again, it creates more of a. Oh, I uh, forgot about this. The whole listen mode, see through walls. Yeah. Such a cool game mechanic. That isn't really like. It it goes into monochrome and you can you can see through walls, but it's not game breaking like a superpower. It's just like, well, now you would be able to hear someone moving around in the other room, and you yeah. would get a sense. They're probably right in the middle, or they sound far off in the corner. Can I get the instant? Do I have a stabbing stabber? What is you it? You can break their Stealth neck. Kill. Stealth. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, is it going to prompt me? Look at her. Oh, that's a good... Oh. Yeah, I always turn it around so you watch their eyes lose the life. I think it's funny. Yeah, you want to see them They did that cold. in the old game, too. Yeah. Like, it, it was... One of my favorite details. Joel, chill. Oh, yeah, yeah I can't leave that on. Mm -hmm. What was listen? L1. Wait, R1? Yo. It's R1. Okay, there's two there. Where's Tess with her bitch ass? Are you going to help me? She's just chilling. Okay. Damn, I got six rounds. How would you go about this, Brian? Start shooting? Uh, go for the headshot? I think I, th I think I walked past them. And yeah, maybe we both just bounce. They're too distracted because it's but it's through here. I don't know, dude. I think they're gonna get up. Let me see. If he notices me, I think I cross the room at a certain point and they automatically. No, look at you. They got a fresh kill, so they're totally distracted. Tactically, though, this is how you would want to approach this, right? Weapon drawn, backing in and away before I can clear this room. Okay, we did it. Fucking, fucking A right, Brian. Oh, yeah, dude. You did that shit, dude. I would have, honestly, I was about to go and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I got six rounds. Let me take both these assholes out. You're going to need them later, too. Yeah, where's And Tess? I don't think you get much for, uh, for the other side, uh, getting whatever's into the side of the room. Like, there was another, like, alcove in there. I don't think there's much. Yeah, right. That's my, you know, I'm not playing that way right now because I don't know when I'm going to get back to this. But I just want to really talk about the show and compare it to the <clears throat> the opening here since it's they're so right on top of each other and relevant right now. So if you're Last of Us to out, I apologize. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm playing something semi-contemporary. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> you know, back to, uh, back to, um, I want to say, I want to go back to cyberpunk. I even brought that today because oh, I, yeah. well, I started playing the tabletop cyberpunk. I, I talked about that a little mm -hmm. and now I'm all jazzed up to like finish that game. <laughs> I want to get back into that world. It's fun. I, I'm excited to play it more too, but I'm hoping that they release a, um, third person version of it i'm really waiting for that too i really would like that but uh yeah i should just go in and finish it now and then like new game plus it sure yeah when, when that's that, actually a good point when that ever comes out i think about how i play video games now and it's uh, if i'm really enjoying them i'll stop myself from beating the story yeah and i'll just keep doing side missions mm -hmm. ad nauseum and then something happens where I fall off. But then it's like, well, and I never finished that game that I love. Be yeah. But I did like 90% of the side stories, and then I kind of got, you know, onto something new or whatever. Yeah. So I need to go back and finish a couple of games like that. Yep. Um, 
I did that too. I finished off a couple of games, but I haven't had time to like sit down and start a new one. Well, especially with, with Cyberpunk, because there is the new game plus. It's like it makes sense that I could just keep going to keep doing the side missions yeah. after I beat the story. Oh, here's a note. What was this say? Um, we were so close. I'm sitting outside the walls, knowing I'll never see the inside zone. When I was waiting for a smuggler to show up. Oh yeah, we're already outside in the city, huh? Tess knows all the good ways out. I think you're, yeah, you're in the city, but you're still in the QZ. I don't think so. Are we still in the QZ? Yeah. No, because there was like, nah, this wouldn't be in the QZ. Well, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah. And like, yeah, I think it kind of like the circle gets smaller. Uh, okay. You know. Well, we're upstairs. Yeah. We're, where do we have to go from here? Down? No, that's where you came from. That's where those homies are. Is this out on the street? or? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it was just downstairs again. Come on, Tess. <clears throat> Gotta go through some water. I like that they already played into Ellie's fear of yeah. water. I liked how they did it, too. Yeah. I liked I that they had no idea of the depth of water. So. Yeah, <laughs> and that was fun. I, uh, I do... Uh, think I came around on who they cast as Ellie because oh, I, I loved them. I never watched Game of Thrones. But, oh, that's how I know that girl. But, but that actor is like, I guess, a big. R Rocco was telling me like has has a really cool role in Game of Thrones. Yeah, he was already on board. I'm just looking and I'm like, I don't know, man. They don't really look like the character. I just like I haven't even seen them say a line of dialogue. It was just still images, and yeah. I'm just like. Yo, I don't, I don't know this. I, in my head, it's Ellen Page. Mm. Um, or Elliot Page now. Yeah, but but back then, where I mean, there was actually like that lawsuit over how similar the character was. Yeah. To uh, their likeness, it, and I was like, Yo, this. I mean, also. We're here. Now that I'm looking at the cover of this game, it's like, I think that actor is a little old as well. Oh yeah, no, the actor that's playing Ellie in the show. Yeah, she's nineteen or twenty. Yeah, yeah, and 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 that 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 shown in the posters in the still images. Mm -hmm. Now she's portraying a fourteen, a 14 year old, old great. Yeah. You know, once I'm seeing her deliver, uh, seeing them deliver lines and talk and everything, it's yeah. like okay, that makes sense. The mo, the moment I like this she character. Spoke. Yeah, a lot. This casting is is is. Is well done. Yeah, that that's that's what won me over. Now I didn't realize that it was this. Uh, this character from um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, because she was incredible in Game run? of Thrones. Which, look at it now, if she's 19, that means that she was doing that shit when she was like 12. For like, real? I bet she was like, she's supposed to look like a super young kid in Game of Thrones. She right? does. She's yeah. like a young kid, but she's a badass. Like, How the literally. How do I run? Uh, L1. Um. But yeah, I really, really oh, like. Oh, it's not run and jump; it's find a board. Yeah, I there's remember. a board down there. I remember this now. Yeah, right. Like uh, Ryan says, oh, she's <laughs> she's 19. I thought Game of Thrones was. Uh, I forgot Game of Thrones was that long ago. Yeah, like 2011, man. 2012 is like when that show was ending. 2013, I forget. No, no, no. It end. It, that's when it was getting big. Yeah. When it ended, I think was around 2017. It's so it's so funny that I saw one. I've seen one episode. Yeah of that show and it's like somewhere it's in fine. the middle of a it's like a season finale yeah it's fine don't worry about it oh i'm not interested at all. <laughs> I, I was at a party where it was just hey we're showing this episode here at this party and every, yeah. everyone sat down and watched it and i was like okay oh yeah I've, I've definitely been a part of that some sometimes that works it'll get me into a show if it's like totally if it's good or if it's like my you know in in my style then yeah um that's where it came from Oh, isn't it? Tess. Yeah, she's probably just got to give me a hand to get back up. There we go. Now what? No, no, I think that's how. Bossy today. Yeah. Bossy today. I think this is how I get <laughs> back in. Oh, yeah, I think I think you can. It maybe does connect all the way around. I forget. Honestly, there's more than one path in this game, and I love that. I love that about it. Like. They give you a good amount of, like, options while still keeping you pretty focused so you uh -huh. can't, like, cheese shit and, like, get around certain obstacles. True that. 
Make sure there ain't any soldiers. True that. Shouldn't be any soldiers around. Oh, and wasn't there a difference in the show that, like, here soldiers are going to be chasing us? But... Uh, well, we don't even have Ellie yet, so we're not even into the first episode. No. Or, no, I guess, do they meet Ellie in this? Yeah. It was the first episode they meet her. Okay. Right? In the or show? Or was it? Is it the first, second episode of the show they actually get Ellie and get out of the QZ? Uh, well, they get to, like, the safe house at the end of yeah. this first episode, I think. They meet her, and that's the whole scene where he's stepping on her knife. That was the first episode? Yeah, and he beats up that guard. Yes, which was not in the sh not no, in the game. No, but it they kind of they, they allude to like yo they're capable, and she's like, what are they capable of? And then later on, you kind of see like, oh, they're capable of like killing people. Mm -hmm. That's what they meant. That's what the fireflies meant by like they're capable to get you here where you need to go. Yeah, I also like you know just again nonverbal storytelling of him like you know checking his knuckles and then rubbing his watch. You know, there's a lot of stuff in the game that, that that's like that too where uh, there's a scene coming up here um, not well you don't have Ellie yet but there's a scene coming up later where uh, where yeah I think it's like uh, it, it, what what the end of episode two ended up being with the the crossing the board thing um, and there's a scene in the game that I always liked where you know it's the first time they've gotten through their shit he's still a little bit skeptical about Ellie but then you know again reminds him so much of Sarah but yeah he, she like does something and it's like I think it's like yeah seeing the innocence through through a child's eyes maybe for the first time and he like grabs his watch or something as she walks uh, off really yeah yeah, yeah. it's it, again it's one of my favorite things about this game like all the nonverbal, all the environmental all of that storytelling I think it's really, really what made this game so good for that, me. Just that walk through this encampment is so intimidating with everyone, yeah. like, pounding bats into their fist, and there's a bare-knuckle fight. And mm -hmm. th This is still... This is a community outside the quarantine zone, or is it still... Yeah, so they're in the QZ. I think this might be a community in the QZ, and we've, you know, stumbled into it. We've, like, well, Tess knows someone here. That's why we're here. Yeah, and thought. you guys are smugglers, so you know all these smuggler routes. Yeah. Um, it's it's like fucking uh, Death Stranding, honestly. It's it's you guys are peddlers, and you uh, you know all the routes to get the shit where people need it, and you get it for yourselves, too. There's Marlene. Mm -hmm. Who apparently is the same casting for the show. They used that actress who per uh, portrayed Marlene here to do Marlene in the show. Mm, in the, well, Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because I watched a thing in the show... Uh, like after the show there's like a making of kind of episode or whatever but the th she was talking about how she uh, auditioned for the voice role of Marlene in the game mm -hmm. didn't get it but here she is now auditioned and got the role of Marlene mm. in the show but that does look like her so maybe they knew when they were making this game like hey we cast this lady and they updated that cause yeah bro that's crazy yeah let me see uh, but maybe she was the, you know, the, they, they do, like, the face of a character it might be different than the voice actor. Yeah. Um, so maybe she was just talking about the voice actor. <laughs> the kid's like, this is my giraffe. Fuck off, my giraffe. Okay, Tess, where the fuck are we supposed to go? I, I wasn't listening to you. Oh, in here. Yeah, it's pretty linear. Oh, it, it started right away. I'm looking for Robert. Half hour ago. Oh yeah, she is all beat up. I see now. Mm -hmm. Who are we looking for? The same guy? Is it Robert? Is that what she said? Whoa. She like jumped out of my way. Camp? Anything in the camp here? Hello? No one's home. I don't want to disturb him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they are the only person to reprise their role. How Marlene Dandridge became the only Last of Us game actor to re reprise their role. But is she not the voice in... Wait, Merle Dandridge. Is that, is that somebody else? Is she not the voice? Yeah, I guess she's the voice. 
Oh, she said she said on the behind the scenes episode I didn't get the voice. Maybe she did the motion capture. Yeah. Uh, but she is Marlene in this. Oh, you know what? Not in no. Yeah, it says she's Marlene in in both games. One and two. Oh, fuck, that was a waste. What do you got, a shotgun? Joel, get in cover. Come on, amateur. Nice shot. Aye, two fucking headshots. Blah, blah. Reload it. How the hell did he get all these guys? Robert's good at one thing. They're going to be coming after us now they hear all that gunfire. Blah, blah. Blah. How many shots? I, I think I wasted f two rounds with or three, three misses for the two I hit. Uh, oh yeah, let's do a boost. Booster mode. Oh, let's talk to Alistar in the Discord. All right. Thank you for patiently waiting. Uh, what up, Alistair? Oh. How's it going? I'm what a so beat. fucking happy. <laughs> Hello? Hello. There Hello. You can you hear me? I can, yeah, you sound great. Oh, How are you sweet. Doing? Oh, very well, thank you. How's yourself? Not bad. Yeah, I can't complain. Brian, are you feeling hungry? I'm thinking, like yeah. always, burritos after the show tonight. I'm also know. like, I'm, st I'm still feeling kind of chilly, man. It's cold. It's uh, yeah. It's, it is not warm. Normally, by the time we get uh, to this point in the show, it's like you, yeah, good and toasty. I'm warm. There. I'm warmed up. Okay, but I'm playing, so I don't yeah, know. I, I got a hoodie over there. If you want nah, to, I, I got my jacket in the hallway. But no, uh, uh, otherwise, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling some. Fun. Are you all bundled up? Are you nice and staying warm, Alice? There. Yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie. That's uh, how you do it. I've got a blanket right next to me that can be readily deployed that's how Hell you yeah. do it i love the couch blanket that's something oh, i yeah. i never implemented that in my youth but uh you know i think trisha has turned me on to the ways of the having a couch blanket yep. and dude in the morning when i wake up i use that thing just for feet bro oh that's yeah a, that's a foot wrap because yep. it's fucking cold because i ain't putting on socks before i take a shower no you cri you kidding me no nah, man You're crazy but I know you didn't talk to, or you didn't call to talk about socks and showers. I know. Uh, are you playing? Uh, oh, well, that goes my foot fetish question. Are you, Great. Well, yeah. No. You could spin the wheel. We could get show feet. That might be good. It could be. Oh, that might be good. Um, oh, that's still hard. That's still hard. Are you watching the uh, the Last of Us show, or are you watching I don't think it? It's come. Oh, it's shit. not come to the UK yet. That's I don't think. Right. <laughs> it's not. No, not yet. Damn. So you'd have to like VPN or some craziness, and I never fuck with I, that. No. It seems too complicated. VPN. I don't understand how it no, works. You just buy it. <laughs> I know, but then it does. All your laptop have to sign on and go through that. I don't know what the controls are. Get in cover. <laughs> Get yeah, in cover. I figure if, if, you know, if the government want to learn, I've been pirating the complete season of Power Rangers Turbo. They can Hell learn. Yes. You know. Like, yeah. Let them. What are they gonna uh -oh. do? What are they gonna do? You gotta pay your TV do, license right? uh, over there, right? That's you, you don't have to, but, well, yeah, um, but... The, the the TV licensing people don't want you to know that. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, so wow, is it like, um, hey, there's no repercussions, but we want you all to think there are. Yeah, yeah they're notorious. Every time um, you move house, um, you will get a, a threatening letter from the TV licensing people saying, "Hey, if you're if you're watching television without a license, you know we're entitled to do all this stuff we're not actually entitled to do." Yeah, and, uh, yeah. These they're very fucking... notorious for that kind of it's thing. It's just like Fedra in this game, you know, overstepping their fucking bounds. Mm -hmm. The fucking big brother, Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, or... Famously, they um they say um. We're we're going to send uh I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to send an agent to uh oh, to investigate shit. your uh, telling you. But um they are not allowed to enter your house unless you give permission. Oh, so it's like vampire rules, dude. That's mm -hmm. awesome. It's like vampire rules. Oh, that's you can cool. look them dead in the eye, say you cannot come in. They can't do anything. Yeah. Oh, I see a TV back there, sir, and you're like, yeah, can't come in. 
Yeah, you can have the television on watching television. <laughs> Hell yeah. They can't Is that BBC dead. One? It doesn't look like a, a DVD you're watching on that, sir. <laughs> no, yeah, it's my, uh, my, my media server that I have. You can't prove it isn't. True that, true that. Um, well, are you um, are you familiar with Last of Us? Did you play the games? I played the original one on PS3. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. I know they're really milking it. It's it's so funny, like to think of this as being a PS3 game that now has mm -hmm. a third version available mm -hmm. on PS5. A ten year old game. Yeah. Do you see me? Oh, no, she's on it, dude. Yeah. A team, dude. This is a ride-or-die bitch is what I'm saying. My girl's on it with me. I think one of my favorite uh, details in the show was... Uh, oh, let me pick something up off them. Was, uh, was when they're sitting there waiting for Tess to come back. You know, after they've gone to, like, clear the rubble. Yes. I really appreciated that Tess knows Joel well enough that the moment there's a sound off, she knew... You know, like a sound that... Put your gun down. Yep. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> Don't fucking shoot me. Yep. Yeah. Because he's not going to hesitate. No. That, so that's what I like about this show more than anything, is that they're telling you a lot of things without saying, Joel is the kind of guy who doesn't hesitate when he sees an, uh, a person that's a threat. Joel's a ruthless bastard. Joel is this. Joel is this. It's like, no, they show you their behavior. Yeah. And that speaks so much more to how they are than, than I think people realize especially like it's yeah. really well done it really is like the little signs are there um well when you do get around to it alistair i'm sure mm. i'm sure you'll you'll uh you've heard nothing but rave reviews mm -hmm. from us are you a pedro pascal fan maybe i i, I likes me some pedro yeah yeah uh, pedro's a nice guy he's the mandalorian you know he knows how to take care oh, of yeah. a child already i trust <laughs> he was him. in game of thrones he got his head burst open spoiler alert he was also in game of yeah thrones? i didn't think about that either i didn't that's it, crazy i didn't really like think about that they're at two all. game of thrones actors i didn't know uh the the gal who plays tess and uh um the actor who plays ellie are both british and it's like god oh wow I heard him, not, you know, drop the accents, and it's like that's so crazy. Like you're so good. Yeah. Well, you know, we used to, we used to, you know, we colonized half the world. We got good at doing everyone else's yeah. accents. You really that's are. Big, you, dude. you really, you guys nailed. You cornered the market over here. We're Absolutely. Just, you know, we're kind of sick of hiring American actors, so now we're like, you know, is Lance Reddick British too? Uh, no, I think that's just how they talk. That's just. Uh, I think. It's I don't, just very. Well, yeah, I don't know. Pronounced. I just feel like uh, for a while there, man, everyone was uh, Academy Award winning, mm -hmm. all from the across the pond, yeah. as they say over here. Damn, damn. Well, uh, Alistair, any last uh, thoughts? Yeah. Um, before we take more calls, do I, you know? I've got, I've I've been thinking about this. I've got one really petty complaint about The Last of Us. I'd love oh, to hear yeah, the yeah, We've been glowing uh, only positives, yeah. but there has there to be... There needs to be some balance. There needs some balance, yes. And I'm not, I'm not going to go into anything deep or intellectual. I'm just going to... Just a petty irritation I have. Sure. I feel like Joel should be balding. At he's this living age, like 20... filthy post-apocalypse. Yeah. You know, he's manically depressed. He's all leathery and growly. And you want me to buy that his hairline hasn't shifted an inch in 20 years. Yes. Really? Really? He, you know what, though? There are some men out there with just good fucking solid genetics. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and they piss me off so much. And, and you know, he could... he could. I'm he, the same age as Joel in the show. He's going a little gray. You're the same age as Joel in the show? Yeah, he's 36 in, uh, in the future, right? In the 20... He, so he well, as his, an adult, he's supposed to be about 35, 36. He had his daughter Sarah when he was young. Yes. So yeah, he had Sarah like when he was in, and it like tells you nineteen. Yeah, in college, with his with uh with the mother. Yeah, who is no longer around, and we don't really. Thirty six before the fall, so he's fifty six in the show. I mean, he he looks he looks rugged. He's tough. Oh, okay, my bad. So he's thirty six at the out. Yeah, okay. at the outbreak. So here he's supposed to be fifty six. Yeah, I'm trying to think, yo. Give me another. Uh, Oh fuck, dude! I was looking at myself. I was Damn. just I was fucking around. Where now? Okay, where, where, where are we at? Where are we at, Tess? What are we doing? There they are. 
Fuck these guys. Shit. Oh, what? Out of cover there. Here we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Not you, Alistair. I'm talking to the... I see that now, Alistair. Yeah, I, 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 thought, you, I thought they were younger in the in the post fall. Mm, I guess I never really know, considered it. You're well, on I say it's like a petty, petty complaint. Oh yeah. But now I'm thinking about it, that would be kind of a good way to convey like the theme of like the passage of time and aging if you just made the players like like stare at a massive growing bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting third person view is like Yes. Has there ever been a main character who is as relatable? That they have a, you know, you're just constantly staring at their bald spot. Larry uh, David, Trevor. Trevor Video game yes. characters, they're too Trevor. good looking. We need, we you need more like it, balding, Brian. overweight men. Trevor. In yeah, GTA. You, you absolutely nailed it, Trevor. Uh, in GTA Five. Yeah. Damn, you're right. Well, thanks for calling in, man. Yeah, it was a great call. Well, yeah, sure thing. Good to hear. Can we get a wheel again. spin? Peace. Take care. Great call, great, great time. Wait, hold on, I put myself in the wrong thing. Well, wait, there we go. What'd you do? There we go. You hear that? Oh, did they say wheel spin? Did you hear that? Makes you want to dance. I didn't hear wheel spin. I don't know, the chat's yelling wheel spin. Well, they wanted him to ask for a uh, wheel spin, of course, but I don't. he didn't say it. I didn't hear it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Did they say it? Apparently. Okay, he said it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I, I said goodbye and I thought you hung up, Ryan. Yes. Yeah, I, I was that. all. But fucking... you know what happened is I dragged myself out of the call. And that's, uh... that's probably why. All right. So we didn't hear it because we weren't on the call anymore. No. Okay, we will. Uh, we'll, well, you're supposed to stay on the Discord call for a wheel spin because we might have to ask you some questions. A premise. We might have to get some more details. But, okay, we're going to wing it. Hold on. Let me. Let me bypass these <laughs> these fools why'd i do that fucking pr dude it prompted me it prompted me with triangle so i just fucking hit it like an asshole shit don't take cover joel just firefight it needs to be good why am i missing so much okay sorry he's already dead <laughs> fucking he's dead oh shit there's a horse in the hospital Okay, what do we got? Quit equipping the bottle. Stop hitting me. I don't want that bottle. Where were we? We were in here? He's gone. Where's the reload? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna remember. We're not gonna forget Alistair's wheel spin. Oh there he is. Okay. Uh fuck. That's oh. smart, dude. Do you see how the game knew I saw him and oh was like, God. all right, well, he saw he's going to see me now. Yeah. yeah. But he knew the game like knew I had a fucking headshot. I Where? love the combat in this game. Like when you get shot, it feels like you got fucking hit. The sound, the way it like jerks your controller. I should go back and try to do this stealth because I do not think I'm going to have enough ammo. Don't move up. Damn it. Let's just do it. Um, how do you do it? Restart checkpoint? Yeah. Or restart encounter. Same thing. Two minutes. I loved this feature, and I used it a lot in Last of Us 2. Mm. Um, restart checkpoint. Or restart encounter. I think all games should have it. It kind of feels like uh, saves coming. Well, it's built in, so. Yeah. I love that you can hear him talking. So we get one guy here. One guy goes upstairs. And one guy goes into that back warehouse. We know there's three dudes in that back warehouse. Let's reload. Oh, I don't need to. Can I not jump over that? Oh, I thought I could. You can, but... Yeah, I should learn all the controls. That's why I was like... Forward next. Ah. They did a really good job updating this game, but the combat in 2 is so much more fun. It's like... Yeah, the combat in 2, man, once I got 
Uh, yeah. Once I got the machine gun with, um, what's the other protagonist's name? Oh, Abby. Abby, yeah. Man, I fell in love. That character, that combo. Oh, really? Yeah, the machine gun. That's that's cool. I, see, I played totally different. <laughs> I played more aggressively like a bruiser with, with uh, Abby, but I definitely still tried to bait people out and get people to f uh, follow me into traps, blow people up with uh, trip oh, wires yeah, and trip shit. Oh, yeah, the trip wires and shit. That, that was like Pipe a bombs. whole Metal Gear-ass, you know, like, layer to the game. Yes. Not only, like, the stealth gameplay, but then, like, the traps. Mm-hmm. I really, really liked it. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's see, let's see. One guy came up here, right? Oh, I can listen, to. Oh, yeah, he was up right there. So no one heard me stealth him before. We're going to take him down. But then I took too long and something happened where the other two guys saw me. Impressive. Come on, Tess. Get I think that probably ammo. started talking to Alistair's. Huh? I think we probably started talking to Alistair's and got caught up in conversation. Where... Yeah, you know, I was looking at myself at the... Uh, I was looking at the character... Yeah, we were talking to Alistair about how he's 50 and he's not bald. Yeah. And I was admiring his rugged good looks, Joel. Let's see. First aid kit. Oh! Whoa! That? that wasn't available before. Look out. He saw me. Yeah. But see... I wonder if I can get the sneak... You might be able yep. to. Yep, grab stealth. Or see what's also cool is that if you wanted to, he wasn't behind him. You could have held him as a shield, as a shield and yeah. shot the fucking other dude. He's going to see that he went down here in a sec. Let me get... Oh, I can get on the other side. Not too late. I can get it right on the other side of that door before he sees the body, but... Come right on in. Investigate. I got one for you. Boom. Brian, look in the eyes. Look in the eyes. Watch him. Oh, oh, they're gone. And he's in a better place, guys. He's in a better place. God it's damn so it. Nice. Dude, our, it's fucking, so nice. our camera's frozen what? again. I'm going to steal your mouse real quick, dude. Sorry, I'm just going to refresh. That's fine. What is up? You can have it back. Should come back. I wanted to make sure it was going to actually come back. What is up, dude? Oh. I don't know. Hey, I want to take this time real quickly to shout out. I should probably pause. Uh, thank you for watching, first off. Uh, we put up the stream on YouTube every Friday. This gets archived. And uh, we sure do love poorly playing for you guys. I will say uh, shop.mega64 is our number one sponsor. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brian, what is up with our Twitter? Can you go check out Mega64? I want to see what they have. So I don't have any slides. As you can see, we're getting a 404 error here. Uh -oh. But I do have uh, some information. Go back one. That it, uh, is saying that there is a ooh restock of the Kinna Cakes line of sweatshirts. Yes. So if you are a fan of our homegirl, Mariel, uh, you know we are fans. Her artwork is so sick. The it's brain, awesome. uh, I forget what we call that, the neuro sweatshirt Yeah. In pink, too. Um, Ooh, this one in a nice uh, Jean Heather. Gray. It's like a nice Heather. A Jean Gray. I like that, yeah. Brian. It's great. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, the Ooh, Rider. The Rider. The Rider is, it has such a Dragon Ball type yes. vibe to it. But I love Mariel's art. Uh, I think there's one more. The original. Kinico, if you're a Kinico fan, you sure will love this stuff too. Uh, get it for a friend who loves uh, the Skullgirls game as well. I'm sure they would dig it. Oh, yes. Shop.mega64.com. We are keeping the lights on over here by sponsoring ourselves. That's how we do it in the biz. That's right. Brian and I, are, we're in the biz, right? Mm -hmm. The entertainment industry. Okay, mm -hmm. we're entertaining you. Tell them how entertaining we are, Look Brian. at how entertaining I am. I am on your screen. And Look at it. It's so entertaining You're to see. You're on the everybody screen. Everybody is so enthralled by how we look. They can't turn away, nope. but we're going to make them wait. The screen doesn't lie. And who's on the screen? Is it a phone screen? Is it a laptop? Doesn't matter. It's us. That's right. And we're saying to shop at shop.mega64.com. <laughs> so what? Uh, there's also the Patreon. That's what. You know, yeah. You, you get all the uh, friend dimensions and movie clubs. You can fit. You get them there. Get that fit. Brian, 
now we're back. Hey. Oh, yeah. Actually, I want to take a bathroom break. Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. God, I need to. <laughs> that, Fucking That's hell. why I told them they had to wait. I'm sitting here holding it like crazy, <laughs> Me dude. too. I got to blast shit from my ass. Wait a minute. What Don't say fuck? that. Couple down. Stuff. What are you talking about? Couple thousand? I ain't got a thousand. Let's tell you what. I'll find $121. I got that saved up in the bank. You guys take food stamps? It's not money. You guys take food stamps? What's that? You guys take food stamps? Stamps? You take food stamps? Sure. All right, well, I'll give you food stamps. <laughs> what are you, goofy? I ain't goofy, you're goofy. It's only arson if you burn it on purpose. That's only awful if you think that you're worthless. Rapid movement should your eyes escape them. Stop sleeping because I know that you're faking. The blood of my dress is tuberculosis. It's from my broken heart, I hope that you notice. If you wake up by fingers are absent, it's never been. It's just my bad habit. I got a leg gun, get me some headshots. I'm a disco death rock till the last zombie drop. Slip, Mr. Sexy, and I'm so fucking bone. I'm a death rock disco till my fucking heart explodes. Oh my fucking god, I grew up to be nothing. I won't go many girls from all the blood that I'm popping. I want it so bad to be significant. Never even knew I was a relevant. to the show everyone I'm hello so fucking happy. Sean hello. loves Sean loves when we play uh 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 um children of the plague I always want to say children of the grave <laughs> no it's not it's children of the plague that's iron maiden that's mode 7 um you know and I oh, showed children this, of the damned I showed uh yeah that's right I showed this uh, bumper art that we got another fabulous oh, nice piece of artwork from our dear friend Travis. Thank you again, Travis. Travis makes a bunch of bumpers for us. <laughs> this one's a very cool new one. We I love that it says, ouch, I have lost myself. Ouch, I have lost myself. Uh, welcome. Ouch. Welcome back. I should also shout out, dude, I mean, the Mega64 merch is pretty awesome, but my friend Slime shouts out to Slime the Garbage Man. You know the song uh, oh, yeah. Silent Hillbilly that we put out, shouts out. <laughs> uh, he was in the States. We uh, we hooked up last week, and he hooked me up with this custom shirt. I wore it on the podcast. 
Um, but it, I gotta show this thing off, Brian, on Brian Cam. I'm gonna show you right here. Oh yeah. This thing is fucking so sick. It's a Resident Evil 8 if George Romero's script were made into a film. It's or really... not Res- well, I don't know why I said Resident Evil 8. It's just Resident Evil. Uh, a Resident like Evil movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it's every, like, Dimensions film star from that era. Like, I love also... Let's see. William Defoe is Wesker. That's and, great. Uh, Freddie Prince Jr., and, like, I assume it's Chris. The, I think that's like the RPD station. And yes. You got like a uh, Jill and Skeet Ulrich is Leon. I guess uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar would be. No, that's Jennifer Love Hewitt. No, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, she would be. Um, Claire. Claire. Yeah. Okay. And then. Um, Joe. Yeah. Rose but McGowan. Rose McGowan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could never remember her name. And then the dude from um, Thirty Days a Night. Whatever this this guy. I don't know who that guy is. That's uh, Barry. But his name's on here. Well, I mean, I know what character he's supposed Mark to be. Mark Boone Jr. I know, Mark Boone Jr. <laughs> he's Barry, yeah, man. And then on the back, it has he put the date. Yeah. Like, uh, this oh, is that's the date sick. Scriptly. That's so funny. So I, I, you know, I know that the script's Arkley out there. I've never, Mountains. I've never read it, but I know that there was an adaptation that George Romero actually wrote. Yeah, I, I read the, uh, I read the script like years later when I realized that it was online. And I had the internet. But yeah, that was I like, should do who that knows if that, that was got... even the real fucking script, now, but you know what I mean? Walker printed this. Like, yeah. he, this thing is like a one of. Like, That's cool. One of one. I'm so stoked. The uh, the shirt is really nice. I like I like just how it looks. Honestly, it's a really cool shirt. It's so perfect for that era it... of like, yeah, all these Dimension films like yeah. type. It was like all the I Know What You Did Last Summer. It looks Scream. like it would be from there, but it's not, and that's why it's great. <laughs> it never happened. So uh, we need to spin the wheel for our homie, Alistair. And I will go right now to the Lazy Boy Lounge Hell yeah. for that wheel spin as I lock in. What was the name of that Children of the Plague song? That was Mode 7. Do the skit. For Thank those you. who wanted to do the skit. Do yeah. the skit. You can do the skit on your own. Skip it now. I'm getting horny now. Just thinking about it. Okay, where is the fucking... The timpani? timpani. There yeah, it is. There it is. I found it. All right. Oh, should I start oh. taking... Chat, should I start taking my shoes off? No! The last thing we got was karaoke. We did that last week. That was fun. What did we do? Which song was it? Um, oh, what's going on? Yeah, and then it got fucking flagged in the YouTube version. Did it? Ah, yeah. Bum. And I, I hate, I, I hated that because it was such a good rendition. Yeah. Anyway, let's try it again. I've got the timpani locked in. I'm Here going back go. to the Lazy Boy Lounge. You've, Here we go. You've seen what's on the board. They're saying feet, feet, feet. God, I'm hoping. Way to be a pervert, it's a jackal. Here show feet. I'll show more tomorrow on KLBR if you stop by. It's very warm back here. Ooh. What's going on? Oh my god. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Pervert, 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 yes. Yes. You all see it. Here it comes. You get the heel first. You get the heel first, baby. You're going to get soft fuzz. You ready? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Look, this time you actually get top of feet. I don't Can't want you just top, come to that? I don't want top of feet. I uh, I guess I'll take the boot off. We're wearing the boots. Uh, 15 years unwashed. Um, what did I title that video? <laughs> With the hot sauce? <laughs> With the hot sauce? I don't know. Boots worn 15 years. Socks unwashed. Boots to asses. Oh, God. These fucking... Oh, every... that feels good. Hey, guys. Just to get your... Yeah, your, your tootsies out. It's cold, but ah, okay. Here so we go. I have to put hey these back guys, on. Hey guys, pervert. Hey guys. Hey guys. And I say, oh, what's charge. going on? Twinkle them toes. Look at that. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I've had enough of it. Back to the game. Uh, okay. 
Now, it smells like fucking cheese in it here. Does. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's, a oh. reg- it's a regular deli yeah. in here between oh. meat farts and cheese feet. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> I've been mean, having so much protein powder. Oh, Jesus and... Christ. It's a okay. boys club in here. It's weird with that one shoe on, one sh- shoe off. Yeah, that's why one foot is extremely warm and toasty, and oh. now the other one is slowly getting colder. Whoa. Oh, Uh-oh. fuck. They He's saw me. It. Yeah, I wonder how. I, I am not in cover. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, man. He was the last one, so. I can tell because the musical cue died down. Right? Like, that's uh, that's one of the things that we talked to. Um... Oh, shit. I just blanked on his name. Our homie from, uh, who's interning at Sony. Oh, 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 oh. Colin. Colin. Yeah. Thank you. I knew it was with C, but I knew it wasn't Calvin. Oh, hell yeah. What is this? That's a shiv, homie. Damn, some rebar? Yeah. That's a, that is a shiv. But, uh, no, that was one of the things we were talking about in terms of, like, you know, how games transition from the combat music into, like, the regular music or not any music. It was really cool to, to hear. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, we just cleared this room. Mm-hmm. All right, Tess, I'm following you. Where Woo! are we headed? <clears throat> so Alistair with the uh, wheel spin showing feet, mm-hmm. as usual, as we like to do here on the show. Um, coming up on show news, I should say, my birthday is on Tuesday of next week. <laughs> yeah. I Hell yeah. I couldn't tell you, um, what I want to do. Well, I could. What I would like to do for my birthday is nothing. Is just sit at home. Well, not even that. It's a Tuesday. I want to go to work. Yeah. I want to get my shit done, and then I want to come home and sit there. That would be a perfect birthday. That would be great. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> Everyone wants you to go out on your birthday, you know? It's your birthday. You know, I just kind of want to be around the people I care about on my birthdays nowadays. Nowadays, I mean, I don't really. I kind of do I don't, miss I, having like a big party, you know? I was just with over. them on uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Over, I care about over him. a month ago. I care yeah, about I him. We just we just went out. I know what you mean. No, uh, uh, <laughs> we fucking around. But uh, yeah, I've got I've got a little dinner thing. Get to, I got a yeah. Couple, yeah. I got a couple little dinners coming up. Well, you know, the more people show up, hopefully, the more money you get. Nah, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't want any gifts. No <laughs> gifts policy. There's a certain age where you know, you you don't you don't need a birthday gift. I still like In it. In my opinion. If it's something specific to me, I like it. If you saw it and you're like, this would be great for Brian's sure. birthday. But I feel like you you, you kind of feel, uh, I think you've said before, like, yo, I get people gifts for other reasons. Too. Other reasons. Yeah. yeah and, and then, you know. And that reason is, is typically going to be motivated by whether or not it's like, oh, this is a gift for Garrett. Like, <laughs> like yeah. you know, if I see something that I'm like, Come oh, across okay. something that's a gift. Yeah. like, it, then, like Then that person's getting a gift. It doesn't have to be Christmas. No. No, doesn't have to be their birthday. Because, like, I've, I've, honestly, I don't know if other people feel like this, but a present just for a present's sake, honestly, kind of sucks more than just not getting anything. Uh, I've gotten, I've gotten birthday presents and Christmas presents from people who don't. Well, that's know why me. gift card, like, get, dude, gift cards are great, right? Like that always, that's always good. But like, yeah, I've gotten like weird shit sometimes from people, and I'm like, but I don't need it. I, I don't need do that anymore. This? Like, I, I just saying, like, um, I'm at the point where like. Don't want a fuss made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, at all, at all. What I really wanted, I was talking with my wrestling crew uh, yesterday, as we were training, and um, it came out that you know my birthday was going to be next week. I wasn't going to be able to make wrestling practice because I'm going to dinner. Yeah. But they were asking me like, "What do you want for your birthday?" And I was like, "Honestly, like, I just want you guys to just fucking." I want suplexes and fucking scoop slams. Like, I want to fucking be here and train like it's a regular Tuesday, you know? Yeah. <laughs> give me a couple bumps and, like, let's call it a day. And then they were joking. They're like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're going to give you a... You want fucking 30 suplexes? I was like, yeah, try 41. And, <laughs> and then no one fucking believed me. They're like, no, nah, come on. I'm like, bruh, I like, I can't tell you. I don't know how I made it. Oh, another <clears throat> Damn, I'm coughing right into my mic. Another shiv. I want to silently kill this fool or hit him with the, uh, what's the, how do you get your? Down. Down. 
You know, no, no. I want to get my uh, my pi my wooden thing out. Oh, that's just square. If you have one, it'll automatically. Oh, it's it. just an automatic melee with square. Okay, yeah, my go. my one-two punch was always throw a brick at him, run up with the fucking two by four, and whack the shit out of him. Oh, I can get the stealth. Look at that. You can grab it. Yeah. I wasted one before when I did the stealth takedown. Instead of choking him out, I used a shiv. Yeah. And that's all right. I, I didn't necessarily need to though. Uh, uh, this one had more hits. This one no. has four hits. I don't know what the other one has. They it both had four. Yeah, they both had four. Okay. Man, there was a lot of oopsie. Uh -oh. There was a lot of like uh, debate on if I should play this, or I was also thinking like, dude, I gotta start God of War, so I can get through whatever tutorial there is, and then I'll play that on the stream. Or... Oh yeah. Jesus. What was that fucking? I thought that was Tess. I thought it was too, dude. She, I swear to God, she was just there. Wait, there she is. Oh, I need to heal my ass. How do I do that again? L2 now? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Somebody finally found it. Oh, wow. There's like some streaming stuff? Because, yeah. God, they, they, Children of the Plague. I got the MP3s off of their... They're MySpace. MySpace. That's yeah. what you told me before. And uh, it was still active. You could go download stuff. I think there was a link to download those two albums. Oh, really? Forever, yeah. Um, I don't know if the links are still good, but they're on Reverb Nation. Uh, not for streaming, though. And it's only two songs. Mm. There's a better link out there. These guys done searching. Uh, oh, he kind of saw me. Here, let's throw a brick over here. Get you looking in another direction. Oh, shit. Or just throw it right at your face. Yep. Sorry about that brick to the face, buddy. That yeah. didn't really didn't really put much thought into it. Thought we were going to just distract you, but... Uh... It's great. If you can do it with this guy, you can see the glass shards in their face. Oh, really? Yeah. He didn't see me sneak past? No, nah, they're whoop, giving you a lot. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. No. Here we go. Dome. One no. in the shoulder and one in the dome. Okay, looks like everyone's gone. Joel's feeling... Oh, let's reload. He's feeling Ooh, half, ammo. half full of health. Let's go. Health pack. Let's do another health pack since I got half full health. <clears throat> Let me grunt. <clears throat> <laughs> I like the integration of the backpack into the dialogue of the show. Yeah. Where they're like talking about, you know, what did Marlene pack you in your backpack? You got a lunch in there? You got whatever? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> cool scene, them being super like <laughs> jealous over her sandwich. Is that chicken? Yeah. <laughs> they're eating who knows what with those ration cards. And the fireflies have like access to fresh chicken. In that time, that would be, like, so fucking important. Like, oh, my uh -huh. God, fresh food. Just want to talk, Robert. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Discipline your goons, Robert. I'm going to take this time to put my sock back on. Why did he throw his gun? I don't know, but now you got to run. Robert. Fucking sock is off, Brian. <laughs> like, can you put my sock on for me? My foot's getting cold. No. I'm joking. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, he ran in here. I was like, yeah, if he does it, I'm going to stop him, but I'm glad you, uh... <laughs> Brian's a dignified gentleman. I do not put sock nope. on man's foot. There you go. That's no, what, if Fa you actually that's what Fabio help. said. Yeah, if you needed help with it, then yeah, I wouldn't. Joel, but, way. like... No. <laughs> I like that they gave you ways that you can run and kind of lose them, but not have you, like, completely tied out. Is that where out. we came in? I don't know. No, where. that's where you got to go. All right. Come on, jump out that fucking window. There you go. <clears throat> oh, you're fucked, Robert. Well, hello, Robert. <laughs> you greasy motherfucker. Yes. Dude, the casting, like, I cannot wait for Nick Offerman. Yeah. Um, as yeah, Frank? Know. Or Bill. Okay, yeah, I Whoops. I don't remember. You know what's funny? When I think about the game, I don't remember there being two of them. I remember being one guy in that in that little exactly. boob, booby trap true, hell. Okay. Exactly. Is there two of them? Is that yeah. something new for the show? No, Frank was his partner we never heard about, or we never oh, saw until right. he was strung up. 
That's right. Yeah, so he's we... Bill. Ah. So that's going to be cool. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to get another super emotional fucking character death. <laughs> Break that arm, Joel. How do you think he breaks it? Do you think he actually broke it or dislocated it? Depends on what he put pressure on the, the, the actual... It looks like he's dislocating the elbow. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owe someone. You owe yeah, us. the arm definitely doesn't bend backwards past the elbow, worse. but... I just need more time. It's probably a dislocation. Like, remember when uh, Ray Phoenix came down on that table? Oh, God. And then it popped out, and he was like, uh, ah! Right on TV. Uh, <laughs> that was like, what, last year? Yeah. He came yeah, back yeah. after like three months, though. Um, just give me a couple of Ooh. Probably dislocation. Yeah, on the elbow. And that's what happened to a phoenix, too. Oh, so they just pop it back in. The fireflies. Oh, the fireflies. Ugh. Speaking of uh, Ray Phoenix, Brian. Yeah. And now, with a rampage, <laughs> here's King Ward Abu Chakra to give you the raw smackdown. Dino Mine! <laughs> Oh, what's up? Uh, let's see. Yeah, tonight I'm really excited to see uh, Dynamite because it's going to be Woo. the tribute for Test. Jay Briscoe. That's interesting because now, uh, you know, Jay passed away and everyone had, like, the armbands. Yeah. And they did say something at the announce table early on, but it yes. wasn't like an actual tribute episode. No, they didn't want to. Uh, <clears throat> Why? They didn't want to. HBO didn't want to. Or it's not HBO, Warner Brothers. But yeah. Uh, and that's what I heard from Johnny, too. Warner mm -hmm. Brothers didn't want to do it. But it's like, well, they wouldn't let him say anything. It's like, well, some people said things. They didn't want to have, like... A they, whole show dedicated. A whole show, and they didn't want to have his brother on. Which uh, is... Yeah. Which is going to be rough for him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it was just more that they... Uh, he had said some shit in the past that was... I, I don't even remember what it was, but it was against LGBT... Q I A like, but I don't think it was. I think it was for heat, or maybe it was insensitive. I don't remember exactly, but I think that's what it was. It's a weird line right there. If yeah. it's kayfabe or if it's for getting heat, because I mean the rule is if you're getting heat, you can pretty much get it any way you want. Yeah, you but know? nowadays with everything. Being... Uh, yeah, that's a weird, blurry. That's a weird line. Yeah. So if I you think... do it the right way, I mean you can. Yeah. Right. But who knows? Uh, who knows? That's a blurry line. Oh, they also uh, used to wear the Confederate flag a lot. Okay, yeah. Well, but they've been on TV for the last fucking four months. And, and they've been on... Uh, well, no, they haven't been on uh, on TV at all. And they were the tag champs until... Uh, or no. Well, they were with the FTR. Oh, yeah, yeah. They went off of FTR. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, they've been featured on AEW. They've been like... talked about, but they haven't been on actual AEW TV. So this maybe just comes at a bad timing where AEW or I'm sorry, Warner is already going like, "Hey, this dude's got some controversy, so we're putting the fucking ice on the the Briscoes." Yeah. And then he dies and it's just bad timing. I mean, again, it's it's been a thing that's been for a while. They've been they've been wrestling for a very long time oh, yeah. too. So it's and so it was a car accident I heard too. Yeah, so so their gimmick has changed over time and again, like they've done a sure. lot to Try to rectify some of the views they might have had when they, you know, were trying to just be shit ass heels. Shitty rednecks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah. I don't know what the gimmick. I mean, the gimmick of like, they just look like bearded dudes and wife beaters with yeah. uh, camo pants. Yeah. And uh, I saw an old promo because uh, people are posting like old their favorite moments and old stuff, and there was an awesome promo of them in like a barn talking shit. Yeah. And then one of them. Pulls a gun out and shoots something, but while the other dude is giving the promo shield, and he's like, God damn. <laughs> Fuck, I wasn't fucking ready for that. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. It's, yeah. Um, I mean, they're using real guns in their promos on their, I assume, farm. Right. But, yeah, I guess uh, as long as um, Tony Khan had owned it, Ryan's saying Tony Khan has owned ROH, they haven't yeah. let the Briscoes be on TV at all. ROH, yeah, but not on AEW. I swear I saw him wrestle in AEW. Probably on ROH. I don't watch ROH. I don't watch pay-per-views. I don't subscribe to that kind of thing, and I just watch what's on Hulu. So mm. I know I saw the Briscoes on TV. Like, yeah, wait, within no, the last right. couple months. Didn't they come on TV for something? They like were in a, a match. They had, they had a full match. Like, I'm thinking, like, at least, like, November or something. Uh... If, not t if not two matches. 
I don't know. Sad that uh, Jay passed away, and uh, even sadder that it's an accident. Yeah, I know, right? Like That's terrible, man. I mean, especially, you know, I think of his brother now, like, who wants to go on with his career, I would assume, and that's going to be hard to wrestle without. Can you imagine, like, you know, Matt or Nick, God forbid, something happens to them, and then it's like, well, how does the other one go on? Right. <laughs> it's got to be so fucking hard, man. Oh, we're doing so. We got Tess now on our side. We're doing a little sneak. She's gonna help us. Yeah, Briscoes were never on dynamite. Maybe they're on an elevation or something. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. What am I thinking of, man? I, I had to. I saw him wrestle. I don't know. They might have. They might have shown. Was it a pay per view? Uh, yeah, it might have been a pay per view. Okay, because I watched uh, the. I do watch the AEW pay per views, but I don't watch the Ring of Honor ones. Yeah, so it might have been a pay per view since that's not on Warner. Maybe that's it. You know, like it maybe that's been it. Something then. like that. But I mean, even in this, it says like Mark Briscoe to make AEW TV debut. But that's again, TV is different than live than premium. A, than event. a pay per view. Yeah. yeah. Look at that <coughs> trash. <coughs> Excuse me. I know. I keep like. But yeah, they definitely showed clips um, of the Briscoes. Oh, fuck. So that's definitely there. Come on, man. Headshot me. No, I'm not letting you go. He might wrestle out. Not, not on me. Oh, you motherfucker. All right. Well, that's he fucking shit. broke his trachea. Yeah, how do you like that? Haha, <laughs> thanks, Tess. You're a fucking ace. Ah, shit. Step this up. Let's go back in here. This looks like the Fedra guy's outfit that now that I'm reminding myself of like the show. Yeah. That friend of his that, uh, which, why didn't the guy just let him go in the uh, first episode? They know each other. He gets caught. Hey, man. Yeah, free rations uh, or free whatever. I think it's because. Why do you have to take him in? Why didn't he let him go? Because. Uh, I mean, we have to move the plot along, but. He was going to test Ellie, and the moment he found out Ellie was infected, he was going to shoot her. Yeah, but, like, before that, that guard should have made the decision. I, see, I want to switch from left to right. How do you do that? Uh, square. There we go. I'm doing the Phantom Pain move where it's clicking the stick. Yeah, I'm here. I'm right there. Dunzo. Wait, is that? That's that's uh, Marlene. That's not te Oh, yeah, yeah. And Tess. I forgot Marlene's with here. Who did? Who this? Oop. Ah, oh, come on. Fucking up. Fucking up, Joel. Counter. Get in there. Get in there. Boom! With the fucking headbutt. Oh, they're do you, done. Do you need it? Do you want it? You don't deserve it. Yeah, you only got five shots left. Yeah. I keep trying to reload. <laughs> I'm like, I got no ammo. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to, when I aim, I kept clicking my light on and off because that's the fucking Phantom Pain. Oh, shoulder switch. Nice, nice. shot. Thank you. Little forklift action here. Little bottle or brick, even better. I never hold on to a bottle when the brick is available. Me I just, neither. I love, the brick's going to do more damage, right? Well, you can use it as a, as a melee weapon. You can yeah. smash people in with it. Yeah. Whereas the bottle, you you can only throw it. And it's only a distraction. No, you can. I mean, you can use it. Well. Oh, I can hold on to the brick. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Damn, I didn't remember that. What's up, Marlene? Damn. Oh, they killed your men. Warren. Fucking Fedra. Sorry, homies. Sorry about that. We should go, Marlene. There's bound to be more soldiers on the way. I mean, life is so not precious in this setting. Hmm. It's amazing Joel's made it 20 fucking years. I mean, that's why he's so hardened. Mm -hmm. That's the only way he did. Where are we supposed to head? Oh, uh, around the corner and down. Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah, now one is run. Lead the way, Marlene. God, I don't remember this much of the game being Ellie-less. I mean, this is about the extent of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to it, but I, I just really like... I remember like, okay, the intro, 
you know, yeah. back in time with your daughter, and then you and Tess have Ellie, and you escape the city. Then you're in Seattle. Then, and it, but it's like, nah, there's so much more. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to this game. I, yeah, I well, always forget. Granted, you know, I got through this on PS3. That was the last time I played this portion of this game. Was on a PS3. Because when I started it to finish my 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 original game save, that's you know, this was already. Wow. Well and done. I was like more than halfway into it when I finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, only the second time I've played through this in intro. I know a lot of us here, like Kevin, really loves this franchise. Yeah. And he's played this game like four fucking times. Every new version that comes out, like he, he 100 percent it. Oh yeah, those are his games. He likes uh, he likes his horror games. Let's see. I loved searching every nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. I really liked that. Like, I, I always remembered like one of my favorite things that I was surprised I enjoyed about this game when it came out was how much I liked walking through the the old uh, houses and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Being in a in a residential neighborhood and going into an old house like a suburban yeah single level mm -hmm. dwelling, seeing the growth and the ivy and everything in the kitchen all dilapidated but then finding things in kitchen drawers that was like totally realistic oh and it's a switchblade too in the uh -huh. game same knife exactly you would find like a tape in a drawer and it'd be like there's nothing else in this whole fucking house but one roll of tape like, yeah fucking items were so sparse in this or cds you know shit that's not going to be helpful and... shit shit that's just there as i can see there's a cd in there and i can't pick it up yeah yeah right like all these items that you just don't need like yeah. in the in a world like this people's entertainment centers that you could tell like yeah this the, the pandemic happened in the mid aughts you hand her off come back the weapons are yours oh they even use the word capable in the game speaking of which where are they back in our camp We're not smuggling shit until I see them. If you'll follow me, we can verify the weapons. Mm. I can get Pat's stuff. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Oh, I don't think that's shit, the best Ellie. Him? Her voice acting is so good. How do you know Who did the voice of Ellie now that I'm trying to... Ashley Johnson? Is it? Uh -huh. So good in the game. Very good Four voice actor. They were also the voice of Spinelli in Recess. He was a good man. A little, a little old for Recess, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think they were, were they originally in Step by Step? Um, as an actress? I think she as was the actor? kid. Step by step, day by day. What's the next line? A, 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 in a different, different kind of way. way. The people we love, something we say, will make it better. This second like time, time around. around. Growing Pains. Oh, Not she was in Growing Pains? Yeah, she was the... So I watched that as a kid. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wait. Yo, who was she in... Wait, wait, wait. She, go she to, was, go she to was the little girl. Look at Growing Pains. I don't remember what show was Growing Pains though. That was the one with uh, Michael Cameron. Michael Cameron? Yeah. Where he was my uh, yeah the Christian dude. Yeah, the Left Behind guy. Yeah, and <laughs> he had uh his best friend was named Boner. Yeah, dude is the greatest thing ever. And uh, there she is. The the wait what? She was like a tiny kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, and Alan Thicke was the dad. Yeah. The hockey playing. Uh, father of uh, Robin Thick. Woo! Everybody get up! You know that. Um, yeah. The Seavers. It's so weird. Yeah, and Leo DiCaprio guested on that show for a fucking couple seasons. Yeah, he he was what I think he was the like a Simpsons step made fun of Is with uh, Poochie. Adopted. Adopted. Or, or like a uh, foster child or something. Yeah. Shit. Fuck, <laughs> I used to watch the shit out of that show. Oh, me too. The, the, the. What's his name? Cameron. Kirk Cameron. Mm -hmm. That's his name. Mm -hmm. 
He had a friend that lived down the street named Boner, and it was like there was a character on that show named Boner. Yeah. On like ABC. Yeah. I can't. I don't know how they got away. With, I mean, I get, I loved that, I and I it. loved he was the he was the Kramer of the show. Yeah, he was a boner. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it, that that's that. I can't. I believe, love that character. I can't believe that they like got away with that. I mean, again, it's like it's right in the nineties, so yeah. it, it's enough. But like somebody actually named Boner. Like, that was their name. It wasn't a nickname in the show. Hey, Boner. You want to stay they, for dinner? Right. They sure, all called Mr. him Boner. Receiver. They all called him Boner. And I just, like, when you're nine years old and you finally, you know, know what a Boner is, you're like, what did they say? Hey, kid. Let me see your arm. I want to see the... Oh, well, we don't know if she's bit yet. No. But well, we do. Well, you, you me, and I do. You and I. Which I like... The little uh, inferences they make in the series for certain things. You know, like uh, certain dialogue choices that they'll have with, like, Ellie. He'll say, like, you know, they were asking her questions about her past and all this shit. And uh, Oh, yeah, they're already talking about her character, her friend from the DLC. Yeah. That she's, uh, you know, the love interest that she's in the mall with. Well, they're not. You know, Well, yeah, she... Ellie omits it in that scene yeah. in the episode of the show. You're yes. right. And then Ellie omits it like, no, I was in the mall all by myself. Yep. Oh, you're pretty brave, y'all. You're you're tough as nails if you're in there all by yourself, you know. And then the whole like he's like, "Oh, got anybody who'd come after you? Dad, mom, boyfriend." And she gives like a Yeah, she a gives scoff. yeah. But but uh Marlene mentions that character's name. She does. She, yes. Marlene mentions it like, yeah, something about like is it the same when so and so died, oh, she, and you're like, "Oh, she's bringing it up." What's her friend's what's name? Yeah, from the Left Behind DLC. Not Chloe. Just give me a minute. And I just saw the movie today. Uh, Riley with the cat. Yeah, the the gal they cast as Riley mm-hmm. is um, I, I I know her from Euphoria, that that HBO show. Oh, okay. But I just saw the movie uh, with Trish today. Uh, uh, what was it called? It was the sequel to. Oh, searching. Yeah. Or no, this one's called searching. The first one was called missing. It's not really a sequel. It's just kind of the same type of movie, but they make note of it, of the first one, just in the Whoa. beginning. Nia Long's in the build in the movie. Uh, yeah. From lost. Right? No, uh, she, no, she's just like an actor that yeah, I haven't yeah. heard from in a while. Oh, but scroll back up. Yeah. So that girl's name, the main character in this new movie missing is uh, oh, storm. storm Reed. Yeah. She plays, uh, that that character from Left Behind DLC, so I'm excited to see that because I like I like that character in Euphoria. Yeah. Do I have to line this up? Sideways? I still have to watch that. And I know I'm surprised like Frank hasn't. He moved like, out. Got just you, when. Gotten you. Yeah, but just as much as he talks about Sydney uh, Sweeney, I thought for sure he. Would. <laughs> I already know I like Maddie. Oh, yeah, Maddie over Sydney. Uh, Maddie over everyone. The most realest yeah. bitch in the room, man. 100%, bro. Everybody's trying to fucking put airs up, and she's like, no, fuck this shit. Held that, accountable. That, that show is wild. Um, but Can I we like not Zendella. Get up? Are we not getting No, up? you climb up that. I, I think you might have to do it, like, all the way there until he lets go. You see how there's still a triangle on it? I think you have to put it long ways. I, I did. I had a long ways, dude. I I had the same fucking problem the first time I did this. I had a long ways, and it didn't ever click in. Like I was waiting for him to go. Like Ellie, get your ass over here, boy. There you go. No. What well, is it, is it on the other side then? I'm gonna get up. Oh, there we go. There you go. Fucking hell. Fucking hell is fucking making. Wait, do do we already lose Tess? No. Huh. Where is she? She just hasn't. Climbed up yet? I think. No, I, I mean it's just me and Ellie. Oh right, this is when she goes with Marlene to see the guns. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so see, that's I, something a little different than the game. I'm glad they didn't do any of this in the story, in the in the in the show. Like this would have been so boring if they put any time to this part in the show. Sure, exactly. They did it effectively without doing this. Where there's you only have ten minutes without. Um, Tess, yes. yeah. because she has to crawl under the rubble to get that door unlocked. Which, yeah, that was a good use of condense this part of the game into that little time period mm-hmm. where here, here's Joel and Ellie awkwardly having to have a conversation because now they're alone. Yeah, and I think, you know, um, we, we had a chat 
comment uh, from Neonic Sonics, which is a cool name. Um, but they Thanks said for watching. they said I love survival horror, but I couldn't get into this game for some reason. And I think it's honestly because this is not a survival horror game. This is a it, it's a survival game. It's action. But it's an survival. action single player narrative immer like you know it's not it's got game elements in it especially last of us one but like last of us two is is more of a video game i think than last of us one is like there's a lot more this is more of a walkie talkie and last of us two has a lot more action yeah a lot yeah. more story and exposition while they do have a lot of incredible cutscenes like this like i mean this fucking looks like real you know like if you're not paying attention this this looks in amazing like looking at it in the uh preview here on on this monitor i i cannot i do it. love uh, realistic uh, there's something for me that i appreciate realistic graphics over mm -hmm. uh stylized graph like any uh, you know realistic graphics over cartoony yeah. anything for me or, or uh, i'm gonna prefer that so i tend to play games that have realistic looking graphics or at least an attempt at the time that they were released mm -hmm. to be realistic you know, like you look at the first Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear yeah. Solid, not not the first Metal Gear, but Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. You know, at the time, that was an attempt to make a super realistic looking game. Yep. And I was like, God damn, this is crazy. You know, Tomb Raider, same thing. Like, Resident holy Evil. shit, how did they do this? You know. You know. But now we're actually yeah. getting to this point where like, you can make realistic graphics that are pretty close, uh, you know, to like shooting this in real life. And that's what they're going for. Or you can get a art style mm -hmm. that is cartoony or just not realistic. Yeah, like there's that game uh, that just got announced today during Xbox's uh, developer direct or whatever they call it, uh, made by the Evil Within uh, team. Oh, Shinji Mikami? Yeah, yeah, by, wow. the, whole, by the whole Tango Gameworks team. Really? What's it? I didn't know. A new Xbox exclusive? Yeah. yeah. What is it? It's called uh, Hi-Fi Rush. It's a rhythm-based action RPG or action Whoa. game. Um, and it came out. They announced it, and then it, it's out now. It, like, literally just oh, it came fuck, out today. Oh, fuck. For real? Oh, yeah. I'm going to check this out because right? I loved uh, – what was the, the – It's on Game Pass. What was the one we played uh, previously? Oh, a Metal Health Slinger was awesome. Is that is that Tango? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. The, oh, no, the, that, that would be The Evil Within. E no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about on the PS5, like uh, – there's a game by Tango where you're a Japanese guy in the city and everyone's kind of like disappeared and you're you're going and fighting different yokai. Fuck, oh, did they called? did they make? Yeah, yeah, they did Ghostwire Tokyo. Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, I love that game. That's why it sounded so fucking familiar. So yeah, that was that was their like PlayStation obligation and it came out on everything. But yeah, now uh, now they're doing this Hi-Fi Rush game. Now this does have kind of like that. 2000s, oh, see, uh, you know? That, not that's even what, 2000s, dude. This is like, the, to me, like I'm looking at your full screen here. Yeah. It looks like Fortnite shit. Well, this or looks like, like Jackie Overwatch. Chan Adventures to me. Like the yeah. odds, well, yeah, like, you yeah. know, like Ben 10 and, and that kind of that's thing. That's true too. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Yeah. But honestly, it's still God, fucking... You made me think of uh, one time at Comic-Con, there was a Ben 10 photo op booth, and me and Frank took, like, prom <laughs> photos at it. Yeah, we used to do that. One time at band camp, I put a flute in my pussy. No, that was not... That was American Pie. Uh... <laughs> uh, but honestly, it looks pretty cool. And Has uh, that actress done anything? Allison Hannigan? Like, in... Oh, wait. Yeah, she has done a lot. But not lately. Like, I want to... What does she look like as a 40-year-old? Uh, I think she's closer to 50. No. 48. 48. No wow. shit. Yeah, she was, what was she, yeah, what was her most recent role? That was like, I mean, she was in How I Met Your Mother, and that was like her her big thing outside of, um. Uh, Movies was her first television. Yeah. The only, yeah, the, the other thing that people know her for, not the only other thing, people know her for Buffy as well. Um, so I, yeah, Buffy me. was a huge show. That's, yeah, that's her. how a lot of people learned about her was Buffy. Um. But yeah, it looks like uh, oh, she was on that Penn and Teller Fool Us game, uh, or the show. Sorry, not game. Oh, she was a host basically uh, at, at the Palms Casino in Vegas. Penn and Teller shoot a uh, a show from their from their theater that they have there, yeah. residency. And it's like, uh, yeah, people come on, and they try to do, uh, or they do. Yes, I've heard about this. Yeah, they, they should. They try to show Penn and Teller a trick, and then Penn and Teller tell them how they did it. Yeah, and yeah. if they can't tell them how they did it, then they win. Basically. Yeah. 
And then so they she's can, a host. Yeah, she was a host on that. That's and then, cool. That's a good gig. I guess she was on. She does a voice. She did a voice for some Disney show. I don't. You gotta live in Vegas. She must live in Vegas. Uh, I'm sure you shoot for a two, month. three weeks or something like that. Uh, and then uh, get the fuck out of that town. Yeah, yeah. You're not. You're not there for a whole time because they're Allison still. Allison Hannigan. They're still running. You know their their shows outside of that theater. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. We're good. Come on. Let's up. go. Come on, kid. Now Tess is back with us. Watch your step. Boom. I uh, hope everyone had a good Martin Luther King week of streaming. Oh yeah, uh, to celebrate, you know, as uh, starts on MLK Day, and goes uh, usually a week. And yeah. man, we had a lot of cool stuff to bring. A lot of highlights. <clears throat> Some nice. Uh, Stream fellas, I know there were some Italian <laughs> paisans in the chat. <laughs> I wish I could have been there for hanging stream out. Fellas. Stream fellas was great, man. I, uh, I've never seen those guys before, but they really uh, did us a solid. Oh man, providing some content I for our MLK stream. I would have loved to those. Uh, let me try that again. I would have loved to talk to those content cannolis. <laughs> it was a really good joke, man. Oh god, I, that scared me. Um. Don't so this shoot is Ellie. this is the same as it was in the show. In the show, essentially, is essentially this is just a different federal officers. Yes, he just doesn't know them. And there's only one in the show. Yeah, but see, I didn't even remember the 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 scanner. Mm -hmm. As soon as the dude pulled the scanner out in the show, though, I knew I was like, oh, big green light. Hers is gonna be red. Yep. And then you don't see the red, but there's a. There's an audio cue. Yeah. When you they drop it, it, you hear beep. Yeah. You hear like a alarm. And I don't remember her stabbing him at all. That took me by total surprise yeah. when I watched it. I was like, oh, she's stabbing that fool. And like here, he just shoots him. Yeah, but he in, doesn't beat the in shit In the show, out of him. he like we PTSD. You know, like he went. Yeah. He went back to that day. He's like, not, a, not again. Uh, never again. And it's funny, it's not red, it's just still green, but it says positive. Yeah, in the show, you, the moment it touches <sighs> her, you see it turn. You can see the reflection, Barely. yeah. Uh, on his face, you can see the horror yeah, when in his eyes. It. Yeah. I'm not infected. No? Just lying. I can explain. You better explain fast. Oh, shit. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. I also really liked um, the decision that they made to have her get... It's three weeks. You know, like another bite. Why would that way they could up? see it happen and not, and like know uh, yeah. that she isn't turning. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that that's that's a second way to prove it to Joel. Yeah, because he's not gonna believe. He's unless he's, he sees it for himself. Yeah, yeah, so that's why they watch her overnight and they they believe it. And then <laughs> I loved in the show too, the little sequence of her waking up. Yeah. And she's looking around, it's all peaceful, and then she finally is revealed to... Where are Joel and Tess? Oh, they're both wide awake pointing guns at me. Yeah. Because they're waiting for me to turn into a monster. <laughs> right. I thought that was funny. Again, like... Not trusting at all, they're both just sitting there, yep. like, ready. In a faithless world, how do you have faith, you know? I think we're going to go left. It's cool, because you can go left or you can go right. You can go either way. I love it. I love this game. It really is like such a well-designed game. They elevated anything that they did uh, from the Uncharted series with this game. See, I'm glad now, you know, I never had interest in the Uncharted. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Indiana Jones, and I think that the comparisons to like, oh, it's like an Indiana Jones game. I'm like, well, nah. I don't, I don't, this guy looks lame. He doesn't look anything like Indiana Jones. And, I, and then I was just never... I don't know. I just never got around to playing them, you know, like Yeah. There's big franchises out there that I totally missed on. Um and then there's ones I tried like, you know, I tried the first Assassin's Creed. It wasn't really for me. Um Oh shit. But I never even tried an Uncharted. Yeah, the, I know like a Rocka really likes them. Some of my favorite games. You, in the you yeah, you yeah. Just, just period. Do you praise games. them too. They're really fun. They're, uh, I like. I played. Uh, I played. I think my favorite is three. Everybody's favorite is two, but my favorite is three. Uh, I think you can just run past them. 
Uh, under his ass. Yeah, and then away from the light when he's not looking there. I'm trying to see where they're shining at. Hey. Hey, we're down here. Look hey, here. buddy. Look here. Hey, uh, buddy. My favorite of the series, if you were to play any of them, personally, if I were to recommend somebody that hasn't touched an Uncharted, Uncharted game, Uncharted, yeah. I would say start with uh, Lost Legacy, which is the the latest expansion sequel thing that they did with uh, the female character, Chloe, and um, what's the other one's name? Shit. Anyway, but yeah, um, and, I knew of Naughty Dog. Maxine. I can't know. I can't tell you why I knew of Naughty Dog, but I had like Genesis games that were developed by Naughty Dog. I think they did Jack and Daxter, and then they. Oh did... yeah, that's right. They did do that. Nadine, that's what it was. Nadine, not Maxine. Um, yeah, honestly, Lost Legacy is good because it's like twenty minus hours, so you'll like get through it. It's got a nice feel to it. Also, the combat's the best, and it's the. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, of all, of all the ones, it feels the most, like, tuned up. But let's see. Yeah, Naughty Dog has done a couple of Genesis games, too. You're right. Because I, I know I put in a cheat code, and I made the logo, uh, like, a naked woman. Well, a woman in a bikini. No, I think she was naked. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I read that in the back of a video game magazine, and I was amazed that it worked. <laughs> uh, is this the way? Yeah, we're above ground here. This old barber shop. Ellie and Tess do not seem too scared any longer. Can get through here. Yeah, this is it. Mm. Ooh, ooh, what's in this drawer? Wet duct tape. I'll take it. Mmm. Rings of power. Did you watch that show? No, they, that's the name of the sh of the game they developed for. Oh. Sega <laughs> in 91. Was it a rental then, maybe? What did I have for Sega that was a Naughty Dog game? It might have been Crash. Was on Genesis? On place on your original PlayStation? No, this is a code I put in on on the Sega Genesis, though, I remember. Oh, it might have been. May oh, well, maybe not, dude. I, you know what? My mind has warped things from that far ago to, like, yeah, it might have been a PlayStation game I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, because I always had PlayStation magazines, not really. I never had a Genesis magazine. I had Nintendo Power, and then I switched the official PlayStation magazine, or unofficial. Oh, yeah. It, originally, it was unofficial, then it went official, and it sucked. It was the death of print. Oh, man. Oh, oh yeah, Joel, got... hold on. Hang on, bud. Ugh. Come on, Ellie. We're out of here. <laughs> I like in the show she keeps asking for a gun. I mean, she does in the game, too. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that was like a nice ad. Yeah, like they don't want to give her one because they think she's a kid, but if you've played the DLC, then you know that she can clearly handle herself with a weapon. Yeah. So, it's it, yeah, it's, it's really fun, again, like the way that they're going through it and telling the story. Do you think that they'll get to... A Last of Us Two, maybe uh, plot stuff and and like man or like you know if we get to the end of this game you know what Joel does to who we know is mm -hmm. Abby's father. Mm -hmm. That's what people are speculating. <clears throat> is that do thing? we do we see Abby at the end of you know say season one as like a young kid? Yeah, that's uh, that's what some people are, are speculating. I'm very curious if they if they're gonna tie this in, and then maybe like season two is the Last of Us two. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know. I if they even if they split the game up into two seasons for uh, yeah, even if the first game is two seasons, right? Like it could totally go that length. Uh, yeah, as long as they don't overstay their welcome, like shit, like The Walking Dead does. You know, I'm all for it. <clears throat> if if like the first two seasons are the first game, right? Like and then you, season three and four are the second game. Like season one takes them all the way to Colorado. Yeah. And then, yeah. You know. Um, but yeah. Because there's so much to tell too from you know Ellie. I'm watching her in the first two episodes, and I'm just thinking like. Of all the stupid shit and dumb mistakes she makes in the second game. <laughs> and I'm just like, God, she's so young and innocent here and has no idea. 
you know, and she didn't ask for this kind of thing. Like, I don't want to be the fucking savior of humanity. Oops, wasted a shiv. That's all right. Um, but she kind of also does. But but then I think about, like, how selfish and stupid she is in the second game. And she, like, has that perfect life, but she just had to fucking leave. And yep. leave, leave her child and her, her um, you know, fiancé. And oh. mangle her fucking fingers. She can't even play the fucking guitar anymore, dude. That's Tommy's the real villain of Tommy. this game, if you think about it. The whole reason they go out is because Tommy wouldn't fucking leave it be. Out. Yeah. He's down. And then he barely can fucking do the job himself. Got a brick. What happened to my board? Did I, uh, like... I probably broke when you used... attacked somebody with it. I guess I did use it all up. Oh, Ellie. Or no, that's Abby. No. Test. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Eventually I'll get it right. Now let's just bounce. Let's bounce, y'all. Fuck. We're out. And I'm out of ammo. And we're out of time, folks. I mean, Ooh. it's just about the end of the show. Is this the right way? Yeah, you have to crouch there. There we are. Boom. Two hour mark like nothing, dog. Yeah, man. We got it. <clears throat> we got it in. We're not quite caught up to where the episode ends. No. Nope. Uh, second episode of the show. Yeah, this looks right. Although it's a little different. Uh, here, I see what they were talking about. Oh, I forgot about the flashlight. This is such a cool addition. Yeah. Um, the kind of like little documentary episode, like behind the Walking Dead, uh, or behind yeah. the. They were talking about how, um, you know, in the game here, Fedra's after us, right? They're chasing us. Yeah. But in that show, they just made it a clicker fight. Yeah. That basically sets off a bunch of other uh, a horde of, of infected yeah. after them you know in and using that new thing like you talked about with the mycelium that they kind of adapted from spores yeah okay people in here Ooh, there's stuff to pick up definitely what do we got a locker uh scissors ammo Can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Wait, what's this? Oh, I thought that was an item. So did I. It's funny because there's just not a lot of items, but there's... You you do have to search all the corners because, yep. like, they'll be here. Not in every room, but, like, you know, and sometimes you do go in a house and, like, there wasn't one fucking pickup. Mm -hmm. Of course, because that's how it would be. But it makes you go back and look like I gotta search everywhere. Right, like that. As far as like my the way I play games, it it was like God damn, like that's why it took me so long to beat the first game because yes. I had to search here, everything. That's how I go through stuff. Yeah. But that's why I enjoyed this. Cause again, like I talk about, the best thing that a game can do is reward you for playing it, either with good gameplay, good story, or uh, you know, an immersive world. And, uh, yeah, dude, they, uh, no one's down here. Yeah, don't look at my light. All right. Is she just in here like she can cut it? She isn't afraid to swim yet? No, nah. but you can tell she's a little nervous about it. Yeah, look at her body language. Uh-huh. I just want to be, uh, like, what's floating in this nasty green water? Like, what chemicals and sewage from the past civilization is just floating in there probably less than we think because it's just been running it's 20 years it rains a lot in boston yeah yeah just like just raw vegetation probably you know they go in that show inside a building and it's just like what chemicals are in that water <laughs> that they're jumping into let's say that we deliver you to the fireflies what then what then what then tess well this is a great time to thank our sponsor once again, shop.mega64.com. Bump it. There's that uh. link. Go buy some shit. Buy it. Buy it right now. Bop it. Twist it. Sell it. Pay for it. <laughs> That'd be a cool version of the game. Yeah. It's like one of those Amazon buttons. Every time you hit it, it... I heard one of the guys is uh, releasing an album. 
one of the two guys from Daft Punk. Like, this is the first thing that they'll be releasing since they separated. Really? Yeah. Jean Baptiste Emmanuel, uh, or no, wait, what is it? The, uh, I think the other guy. I don't know. De Almin de Cristo. Uh, Jean, I don't know. Tomas something. I don't know. One of the guys since the breakup is now releasing music. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Under their name with their face, so it'll be interesting Show to see. It, no more of this fucking whatever they did. Yeah, because it's not that faces. punk. Right. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. Thomas Bangalter. Thomas Bangalter? That's cool. I'll check it out. It's going to be interesting. Uh, we've had an interesting show here for you. We, we got to check out, and I'm super, you know, impressed again with just how great this fucking source material is that, you know, yeah. six years later I'm playing it just with a new skin and it's like, God, this game looks, looks good. Looks incredible. God, the story is reminding me how good it is. Yeah. Um, hey, we're in the middle of it it's all with the new good. HBO show and uh, I'm not ducking out. I will be here every week to recap uh, oh, yes. where we're going. So hopefully in a good place because I yeah I'm not watching anything else new right now you know no, chainsaw man ended that's all I was watching before that huh um there's that new trigun anime and I'm kind of oh. casually checking those out yeah I think I got two more episodes to see though <clears throat> we'll see uh we'll see what's on the menu for next week as always thank you Brian for joining me <laughs> thank you viewers Thank you for being here, and uh, God, my basement is flooded. Got to pump that water out. No, no, I'm sorry. We can't.